All right, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a Transformers role-playing game one-shot as led by me, ELH. I'm excited to bring this to you, not just because, well, it's cool to finally have a Transformers TTRPG, um, but because I think, you know, there needs to be a little bit more optics on this game. You know, I, I, I want to sort of give people a taste of the game and sort of incentivize people to either run it or try to get a game of it and things of that nature. Now, what I would say is that this is using the Essence 20 system. Um, it's similar in many ways to D&D, but there's also a lot of cool little caveats that they've done um, to make it sort of its own unique thing. And I'll be doing my best to explain as we go. Um, and as you can see kind of here already in Foundry, I've gone ahead and made a few handouts for my players that they can reference at any time. Um, and I would encourage you all, if you have questions uh, in chat, and if I've got a moment, I'll try to answer those. Um, but in general, this is meant to be a learning experience for everybody, including myself. Um, with that said, I want to make it very clear that it's very, very possible that we're going to get rules wrong, or I might enact rule zero, aka the GM is right because he has a game to run. Um, so we might sort of fudge some rules here and there, but for the most part, we're going to try and do what we, you know, rules is written, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um... On another note, uh, something you guys in chat can do uh, is there are two redeems that you can use to affect play. Um, one is the player upshift, and I'll explain that when we get to upshifting, but basically you can make the players roll more dice at the end of the day, uh, or at least help them roll more dice via the upshift. The downshift kind of does the opposite, where I as the GM can apply a downshift to lower the amount of dice that they roll. And again, I'll explain that later, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a primer on what those uh, channel point redeems actually do. Um, let's see what else. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's all I have to say at the top of the session. Um, why don't we go around and have everybody introduce themselves. Uh, Congo, why don't you go first? Greetings. I'm a ninja, but right now I'm a robot. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Nice. That's all he was. Love it. All right, Benno. Imagine, uh, anything you want to say? Exactly okay. Imagine Let introducing finish. yourself by name, right? No, go ahead, Benesphere. Go ahead. Oh, oh, my God. Hey, guys. How's it going? My name's Ben. I'm a, I, I'm a rookie DM who's learning his ropes, but I got 17 years of player experience. Uh, helping out my boy L here with the old mini cons. Uh, we're going to be conning each other. We're going to be fucking slapping bots back and forth and or getting our bots. Our, what, what do you call what do you call like a an Automod's butt cheeks? What would you even call that? Uh, like steel the, posterior. That's good. Oh, no, and there has to be so a better formal. That's so formable. Keep you just say hello. You just say hello. Hud. Hello, hello, hello. H-U-L-L. Hull is, hull is good. But like, Trunk. That's excellent. Trunk is not bad. There it is. There there it is. Go. That's good. He's taking his dump truck. What else would it be other than the dump truck? Okay. <laughs> um, yes, and um, I'm here to hang out. We're going to have a great old time. Let's do this, gamers. Well, when I think of a ninja robot, I think of Volfog from Gal Gygar. If you've watched <gasps> that, you know. Team! Volfog! Do you know? Ben I love here? him so much. I love oh, him. Ah, great so taste. I did but give you a know who else? as a gift once. You know who else on. loves robots? Shizno, introduce yourself! Go for it, Shizno. Hello. Hello, I'm Shizno. I'm a sentient ball of fat that's piloting a calcium skeleton that's armored in meat and flesh. I'll be playing a robot tonight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's um, piloting his own Ava. Okay. Yeah, he's piloting his own Ava. Shouldn't you get an Ava? The Ava's his body. Oh, Aren't we all what about you, L? Like Who are you? <laughs> yeah, so I guess I should you, introduce L? myself. Uh, I'm ELH. Uh, I will be the game master tonight. Uh, if you don't already know who I am, I would just recommend checking out my community, checking out my VODs. Um, in general, um, I'm very much about the rule of cool, and I just like enabling players to have fun. So uh, we'll see what happens here. But yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so to start, I'd like to all for all of you to imagine sort of a space shot of Earth, uh, probably from like low Earth orbit, maybe like International Space Station level, where we kind of just see the Earth sort of rotating slowly beneath you, and we see the continent of North America. 
and we begin to zoom in down to ground level, uh, roughly about where uh, Nevada is, the southern part of Nevada. And we zoom in to the River Mountains, where uh, we see that there is a out-of-the-way outpost that has been constructed in stereotypical Autobot fashion. So sort of that orange metal with blue lights and, you know, futuristic tech that obviously is way out of place for everything in this timeline. Um, But you kind of have it hidden in the deep mountains where only Autobots can get to it. And as we zoom in and we enter into this outpost, we see the three of you um, currently uh, waiting for a uh, call from Optimus Prime. Now, the reason you are here at this outpost is because Optimus Prime is more or less going to base you guys out of this outpost. And your first mission is going to come from Prime, or at least it should. That's what you've been told. Um, but now that everybody is in the same space, um, why don't we very quickly just go around and introduce the actual characters in play? And why don't we go in reverse order for this one? So, Shizno, can you tell us a little bit about your character? Oh, yes. Danger Zone is a wonderful, sleek, and advanced-looking Autobot. He is curved in all the right places and plated just right. And he's very eye-pleasing to anyone who looks at him. And uh, while he's in his robot form, he still looks just as badass. He goes back from a robot to an awesome, I believe it was the SR-72 Dark Star. Mm-hmm. Is there any Top Gun fans? That's what he turns into. And uh, he likes to sport a sniper that's shoulder-mounted, and uh, he likes to take out his enemies as quickly as possible. Yeah. And he's currently uh, grilling whatever Autobots eat. I guess Energon chips Ener- of some Chuck- sort. Smaller yeah. Energon, Energon shaped like like long candy bar. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's grilling them into what looks like Cybertronian burger patties. Nice, an Energon burger patty. There you go. It's now canon, people. <gasps> All right, Benno, uh, who are you playing? What are they doing? Uh, I shall be playing the ever wonderful and ever excellent Cone Zone. I am an ice cream truck. I am very blue and pink, and I have the branding of every single possibly important and yet somewhat kind of off uh, cartoon character, including Sponge McBob. And that is all. Just him. It's just SpongeBob. It's just, it's just SpongeBob. SpongeBob Bob. Nobody it's else. It's just SpongeBob Bob. <laughs> I think some <laughs> Ninja have, Turtles have might be on there. Nothing but SpongeBob popsicles. Incredible. It's just a bunch of SpongeBob popsicles that are it's not bad though. Horrifying. Um, I have. It's just he's literally like a giant cube uh, on wheels with a ton of advertising on me that definitely wants you to like yo yo chill out, stay cool, yo grab a grab a popsicle. Uh, and I have a giant uh, bouncy little uh, spring on the top of the uh, of the ice cream truck that carries a very large uh, cone, like a like an ice cream cone that has the the ice cream part on it that has like a, a weird anime face on it, just like a very obtuse anime face, just fully drawn on there. It's kind of offsetting and off put off putting, but if you you've seen an ice cream truck before, they're very weird and they try everything they can to stand out as much as possible. They want people turning those heads, and that's what I do. I turn heads. I sell ice cream. I'm also voiced by S- <laughs> David Hayter, S- voice of Solid Snake. Uh, <laughs> uh and I'm also a zoomer. <laughs> Those are my character traits. Ooh, good combination. I make puns and I will say zoomer lingo. I don't know, that's kind of cringe, Ben. I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, that's good. What might say? <laughs> what? No, you better be capping right now. <laughs> I just for real, for real. What oh, God. Just fun. Hold on. I think I hear uh, a punk ass bitch getting ready to have themselves absolutely destroyed. Who said that, huh? Bring it out here. Did you see any- Did you see anything, Danger Zone? I didn't see anything. It sounded like somebody was trying to catch these hands. Oh, <laughs> there. there you go. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Congo, you're up next. Who are you playing? I am school zone. I was a former record keeper, but now I am here to run over the enemies of Optimus Prime and Optimus Prime specifically. I do not care about those lesser Autobots like Bumblebee and Bumblebee and Bumblebee. 
Only Optimus <laughs> Prime's orders. I am driven by a mini god named Stop Sign because I am in dire need of direction in life and in the moment. Well, we already broke Benno. I'm sure that's a good sign. Huh. All right. He's right. I also hate Bumblebee. That guy's I believe a poser. That, <laughs> I believe that everyone should hate Bumblebee. I think that it is a beneficial train of thought or bus of thought, as one might say. Ha, 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 ha. So while that's happening in character, you slowly look at the view screen, and I think, Danger Zone, you're going to notice this first. The view screen's been turned on for the past 30 seconds, and Bumblebee's there looking like he wants to oh, say something. But he's like... I to say something. Look up your radio. What are you going to say? <laughs> he, he just kind of looks at you all and goes, I... Okay, um... I jump, I jump to attention and do the salute, and I'm like, oh, B Bumblebee, uh, Commander, Lieutenant, Sir, uh, we, we were, uh, just, uh, prepping and getting ready. Ha, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no goofing, uh, off here. Oh, By the way, that was a joke. You should file away that memory and put it somewhere else. Danger um, Zone's just putting the burger down. He has, he's wearing a giant apron that says, kiss, kiss my afterburner. <laughs> he just kind of waves That's his cool. spatula at Bumble. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? Wow. Oh. Optimus was uh, not kidding when he said that you all were a uh, eclectic group. We are um, specialists. I guess that's a word I, you could use. Um, we I are just, specialists. We, that is the word we are going to use. Okay. Um, well, I'm just calling to let you know that uh, the big bot's kind of been held up a few minutes, but uh, he said again. that I should go ahead and get you prepped unless you really want to wait for the big bot. Nah, man, no, it's good. I you can tell us what you need to do. We are willing to accept orders from you despite your inferiority. I feel like we're going to have to talk about it at some point, but... <laughs> it is not a matter of specific. It is a matter of you. Okay. That kind of sounds That's, like yeah, specific. go ahead, Bumblebee. What's, what's, the, mi what's the mission? Well, I'm going to be the bigger bot here and just let that slide past me, but... Uh, Please do. <laughs> no, you really have to. He can't let it go. It's, it's programming. Please, yeah, please I'm, Bumblebee, just to try and understand. I... Okay, you know what, I'm just, and he kind of slaps the side of his face. All right, focus. All right. So, uh, short story is that Teletran 1 is basically <gasps> alerting us that something is going down at one of the old Energon processing facilities uh, in your area. As far as we can tell, the sensor array that was there has gone offline, and I don't think I need to tell you that that's bad. Um, either some humans have gotten into it, or worse, maybe we're talking Decepticons. So we need someone, namely the three of you, to go check it out and see if the sensor array can be repaired. And, well, if there's Decepticons or anything else there, you would deal with them. Um, pretty straightforward... Pretty straightforward mission. Uh, I'm transmitting map data now. And of course, you know, you see map data uploaded to your terminal and then you all can just pull it whichever way you'd like. Um, and he yep. says, uh, for the moment, uh, the only directive I have from Prime other than that is that if humans are present, you are not to give yourselves away. You are to quite literally live up to the name Robots in Disguise. Um, he said that I should be very clear on that point, but it's not like anybody can stop you if things go south. So I guess just sort of weigh whether or not you want Optimus Prime mad at you. That is not an issue. Optimus Prime will never be mad at me because I am always a school boss. <laughs> <laughs> Bet it's true. He is yeah. always a school bus. He really ass. is. He likes to be in that bus. He likes to go from point A I do to point B this. around the block a few times, man. I've seen him Bumblebee. pick up real kids. It was extremely dangerous. If I ask you a question... Uh, it, it, sure. What, what, what do you have? How often are you in your vehicle form? Uh, 35% of the time. That is surprisingly high. I take that back. I guess that you are not that bad after all, even if you are yellow. Wait, you're <laughs> yellow too. I, I don't understand. You don't need to understand. 
Mason Knight just have said. Oh, so you're like a honey yellow, and he's like a a French mustard yellow. So. Oh, would you look at that? I think we're getting some interference. He, there's literally no static. He's literally just making noise. You should go to the the the, the facility, figure it out, and. Okay, I'm just going to end yeah, transmission, man. and he just shuts it off. So oh, I have nothing against Bumblebee, but it is very funny to make fun of him because he reacts like this. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> cool. Mood. It's hilarious, isn't it? Oh, sure, man. Whatever makes you happy. I just uh, go with the flow of things, man. And to the flow we shall go. Off. On those believe, deceptive creeps. I believe in chasing your bliss, and I chase my bliss at the speed of a school bus. Now, <laughs> isn't that a 30? In between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Don't knock his dream. And the dream that we should all be focusing on is the one of destroying these, com- these con bastards. That sounds and wait, can I say that? We're, wait, what's our rating? I look up to see our, our cartoon rating. What's our rating? We've already Don't dropped worry, some F bombs, so I think we're already at a rated R. Uh-oh. Michael Bay has already made movies based on his thoughts of us. I think that we are allowed to swear. Not that I will. It must be appropriate around children. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. School. I. I feel like maybe you should. You know, not be near children anymore. Yeah, I know that's going to be hard. Safer than within me. Think about it. Uh, you like? Mm. Well, do, mm. do school buses actually have seatbelts, man? They do. Why wouldn't they? That is dreadful to imagine. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> The only imagining I want to do is us being at that place. So let's, I look at the, ma- I look, at, it's, the camera zooms into my face really close. Roll out. Oh, that's where the can went. I just reached down, grabbed the can, he zoomed into his face. I'm like, it's not a camera, man. Oh, I'm can. sorry. Oh, was this yours? Oh, All sorry, right, man. let's roll out. I'm let's sorry. see how fast your vehicle forms are. Yeah. I- it's uh, not a race. <laughs> it is a race. But we will transform and roll out. Life is let's a race. Let's get to that place. Yeah. You know what? Let's, uh, let's actually make winner. it a race. Because I, uh, I think we can make this a, uh, you know, an example of rolling. So what this is going to be is this is going to be, well, depending on your alt form. So for cone zone and school zone, um, I'm going to have you guys make a driving check. And Danger Zone, since you are a plane, uh, you would be making a flying check or a driving flying check. Now, here's the thing I got to explain uh, before people start rolling dice, is the way Essence 20 works is basically you have four main stats, uh, strength, speed, smart, social, and you put a number of points into it at character creation. And those same number of points you put in uh, during character creation, you can then use those to buy what is called a skill dice. Um, The skill dice starts at a D2 and it goes up D4, D6, D8, D10, D12. And whatever your highest dice is uh, in that uh, sort of specialization, um, you roll that die and add it to a D20. Now, if you actually have a specialization, like for example, driving, um, there's actual land driving, there's flying, there's sea vehicles. If you actually have a specialization, you do something special where you add all of the specialization dice. So for example, if you you have a specialization and you have a D6, you add the D6, the D4, and the D2 to your D20 roll. No, you only add one of them, but you add the highest one. Ah, yeah, you got it. Thank you for correcting me. It is important because my specialization is absurd, especially in this check specifically. You might (laughs) wonder who I am talking to. But I am just vibing here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like Shizno, you've got a total of 14. Uh, oh, man. Those are some ones, aren't they? Okay. Hmm. And what was my drive? What, did I have drive? God, I hope I have drive. Do you have uh, drive? I hope you do. I yeah, don't I really have drive. Do. Oh, All right. Sure so, fuck, don't. so here's Wait, what happens when you don't have... Explaining. 
Yeah, here's what happens when you don't have any points uh, in, in a skill. Uh, you roll 2d20 and take the lowest, or you do what is called a snag. I'll roll the snag. Here we go. All right. Well, that's uh, another 14, surprisingly enough. Interesting. Uh, All right. It is my turn to drive. Behold, the pinnacle of driving. 14. We, we literally could not have done any better <laughs> on those rolls. But I also get this additional eight, so it's a critical anyway. Where are you getting the 15, extra eight from, out of curiosity? Two D eight from the upshift from stop sign. Ah, oh. so I guess I should talk about upshifts then. So as oh. you can see on the screen right now, um, we do have a... Let me actually zoom in so stream can see. We do have a dice shift ladder where you actually get to shift up and down based on the uh, conditions or any sort of like GM or mechanic. So you can go from potentially a D6 base all the way up to like an auto success. Um, so what Congo did is he had a D12 to start and then he upshifted to 2D8. And that's where the point redeems of upshifts comes into play here. Um, and also the downshifts as well. So just so players know, you have two chat upshifts and I'll keep you up to date as those roll in. But for the moment, you have two if you want them. But yeah, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, Cone Zone and Danger Zone, uh, you fly and drive out of the base at a leisurely place, a leisurely pace. And then uh, School Zone, you know, School Zone kind of keeps up with you for a little bit. And then School Zone puts the pedal to the metal and decides to leave you in the dust. I think that's fair for me to say. I normally gain through usage of skills or abilities or circumstantial benefits. Uh, yeah. I will crank some beats to make myself uh, feel better. Oh, Danger Zone is like just vibing on the gliding of the air. Like sometimes he just cuts his engine and glides for a little bit, starts back up and just keeps going. He's He doesn't care. Nice. All right. So as you're driving along through uh, southern Nevada, you begin weaving your way through the river mountains and eventually uh, what you would see, and I guess technically Danger Zone, since you're flying, you're going to see it first. Um, you see a mountain peak, and there is a purple energy field that is around the peak itself. And I have to ask, do you have either alertness or technology? I have alertness. All right, please roll me an alertness here, and I will give you information as appropriate. Okay, a seven. So uh, with a very basic success, I can tell you that the field does appear to envelop where the Energon is being mined from or being produced from. But you're also seeing from your height that the road to the facility itself is not only, again, kind of blocked by that shielding, but there's also some fallen rubble. Um, but what I would also tell you is that there is a sub facility kind of like a parking lot and almost like a, a main parking lot and a main gate that you might be able to pull up to uh before this energy field and the main facility itself all the other two are going to hear from me like oh gnarly and i'm just going to keep flying <laughs> oh <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll over over the comms hold on by the way um i found a, a trap remix of the uh, ice cream song sound so if you want to just this oh is, my god. This, this, here you go, L. I, I'm just going to send I'm gonna DM it to you. Lord XL, you don't understand what sort of school bus this is yet. You're going to see. <laughs> this is a school bus with NOS, is what this is. So This is an advanced school bus. Prepare yourself. It's a school bus, but the uh, S and H are silent. It's a school bus, but screwed up. It's a cool bus. It's, it's, a, cool it's bus. a cool bus. It's a cool bus. There you go. No, no, no. That's Benos. Uh, I see what you did there. What do you see up? What do you see up there, old man? Old oh, man, I'm not old man. We're the same age. We were all built at the same time. You have an old heart and an old spirit. That's no. And I, I'm two minutes younger. Come on, G two give this to me. Well, be an eternity. Uh, it is an eternity. Eternity for you, old man. Two minutes. <laughs> I'm just for example. Seen a we could argue rather than get to the destination. That's a good use of two minutes. Yeah. Hey, 
It's like the kids always say, live your best life. And my best life is arguing harder than you two. What'd you I'm see? Glad you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, I just say, man, just live your life like a leaf on the wind. Just blowing around wherever you want to go, man. Wow. Is that what you saw? A leaf on the wind? Uh, I wish. So peaceful to be a leaf on the wind, just I swear gliding and drifting. I swear to God. Tell me what you saw. <laughs> what did you see? I see a lot Where of things. Was... I see mountains. I see wildlife. I see you, man. Why are you assuming that he saw something? He was, he was saying something. He doesn't usually oh. just... Yeah, yeah, well, gnarly. There's a cool light show up ahead. I think it's where we have to go. Really? Aurora Lynch. Borealis localized entirely at the top of this mountain? Oh, that'd be cool. You think so? Unlike no idea. I can't see it. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, School you know, Zone, can... since you're ahead, you are starting to now see the parking lot I mentioned, in addition to the energy field. Wait, look at that parking lot. Was an abundant amount of space? I can park okay. sideways there. Sometimes I'm jealous of you guys that can just drive around. You get to see things in each slow succession like a surprise. I just get spoiled up here. Why don't you fly lower? Ah, oh, but then... Uh, I don't know, Schooly. Maybe it's because Danger knows that that would break the Autobot code of staying in disguise, pumping the absolute shit out of the trap remix of that, of that ice cream song. Please blare it right now. I got. I'm gonna have to add it in post because I don't have time to add it as a media source. But I'll add it no! in post. Yeah, we are get me before the stream if you want special music. I only looked it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think it's fair yeah, for me to say though that you all. <laughs> it's fair, fair for me to say that you all more or less arrive at the uh, affirmation or aforementioned uh, loading nice. yard. I guess you would call it. And right. this is where the map you are currently. Now you are able to scroll out and zoom on the map wherever you want. But when I refer to things, I'm going to be referring to their letter code on this map. So right now you guys Sorry. are in A, uh, which is the uh, loading dock and parking lot. Um, what you're seeing to the east is a, kind of a cyan uh, conveyor belt that goes into the mountain and seems to go deeper into the facility. Um, to the north, uh, where you see rubble on the map, um, you are, let me see if I can maybe show this a little bit. So right about here is where the main gate is. And you also see past the main gate, you see over here at C, um, you see a sign that indicates that this is the, uh, security station or basically the way to control the main gate and other things. And I think that's everything that I can mention at the current moment. Uh, of course, there are a bunch of uh, rubble here, uh, fallen rocks from a landside that take up maybe about half of the parking lot. But in general, um, that's what you're working with at the moment. How do you get rid of accidental lines that you put down? Uh, let me see if I can get rid of them real quick. Uh, let me see. Got control Z. Boom. Got him. How do you do that? Uh, either control Z or you have to select them and hit the literal delete button. All right, got us. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's where I'm going to drop you guys out. And actually what I would recommend is instead of measuring distance with measurement controls, um, if you go to the token controls, um, there's a measuring tool there and that will disappear got when it. you let go of it. Yeah. So why, why, I don't have a delete button. Maybe only you have. Yeah, you know what? It might be a GM only thing. It yeah, because I can only. do it as no, a right, GM. Never. Why can you make, why can you make one but not <laughs> delete it yourself? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But yeah. So question, GM. Yes. How is Danger Zone down there if we're supposed to stay in cover? So Danger Zone, if you want to keep flying, you can certainly do so. Uh, let me actually zoom out here and start pointing out things. So you would see that the road past the main gate kind of goes up a little bit and kind of circles back around um, to then go to the main road into the Energon facility. And up there at E, uh, there is the fallen rubble and the energy field, so you cannot go past that point. 
Um, but technically, you could land at any point along this road. So you would also see a bigger building, a processing facility at F. You would see the roof of that. Um, you would see a sort of a cargo yard or a cargo hold over at G. And H you don't see, but we'll get to H if we get to H. But yeah, um, I would say you technically as a seeker, you can fly around wherever you want. Um, it's just a matter of how stealthy you want to be about it. Hmm. Well, do I see any humans? Do I see Why don't you uh, give around? me another alertness check now that you're here? I hope that there are things here for me to run over. I would be very excited if that were the case. 26. Very nice. So what you're going to notice is a couple things. Uh, the first is that the energy, or not the energy, the conveyor belts um, might be the ticket for the other two to get in, excuse me, to the... Uh, main road and the main part of the facility, though it might be a bit of a squeeze for school zone unless they move into bot form. So that's one thing you notice. I am the going other to thing. Destroy that gate. <laughs> 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 no! The uh, the other thing you would notice is that the where is it on the map here? Oh, over here. So at G, um, it actually looks like, from what you can see in the uh, the ceiling windows that peer into the warehouse, it seems to be fairly open, all things considered. But you do notice a purple hue coming from the southern part of the uh, warehouse. So something to investigate there. Um, in terms of the conveyor belt, you would see it enter into F, that uh, sort of processing facility, that monitoring facility. And you would also see that the conveyor belt does run into the main part of the shielded Energon facility. Um, but probably what's most important to you is you're not seeing any humans. You are not seeing any Decepticons. In fact, when you switch to thermals, x-ray, whatever, you're not seeing any movement at all. Hmm. You'll do a couple of uh, circles in the air. And gain lower each time. And uh, the last pass around he does, he turns off his little engines. So he's just coasting on, and then he'll transform and land in front of uh, School Zone and Cone Zone. It's like, well, no one's around, so guess we don't have to stay hiding, man. All right, then. Allow me to uh. show you the art of subtlety. Have either of you worked with me before? I do not believe so. I, I thought our lore was that we were three brothers. Are we three <laughs> brothers? I, 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 that, let's go with that lore. All right, then. Have you worked with me before? I don't believe so. We I, spoke God before, damn it. But I don't Mary. believe we've worked. <laughs> I will give him a few fucking heavy pats on his head. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, your brain working again? How about that one? Uh, is it back He's on? Is it back on? Well. Remember who we are now? Let's see if you remember this. So, school zone's wheels, they turn horizontal like the Back to the Future car, and he floats above the ground very slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember this? I'll transform into my bot form and just shake my head at him. That's yeah. Radical, yeah, I remember. Bro. Let's, let's just go. I yeah, I can do that to too. transition back to a humanoid form. It is inferior. We are not humans. Well, we're not I, really buses I, or jets either, what, but... Whenever you're ready, you can take your time. It's fine. <laughs> I'll slowly make my way towards the facility. So literally no one. Is that right, Danger? Every, yeah, no, I, there might be a rave party, though, up over there. Where were the lights? No, oh, where should we move? Can we see the lights? Light? I mean, yeah, now that you're in the parking lot, you can see the, the big old energy field up there at E. Um, that is quite literally kind of not bifurcating the mountain, but definitely making it so the actual mining facility, the actual processing is currently blocked off to you in addition to the landslide. I'm just going to oh, wow. point out that Danger Zone isn't touching the ground. He is legs crossed floating like Zenyatta from Overwatch, and he's just hovering around like that. Nice. All right, let us move onward. All right. 
So again, uh, you've got your conveyor belts over here towards B. You've got the main gate right in front of you with some rubble in the way. So if you want to ram the gate, you're going to have to either drive over the rubble or you're going to have to move the rubble. And uh, yeah, I suppose you also, for those of you that can fly, you can just sort of go over the gate if you really wanted to. Oh, uh, I think all of us can fly. <laughs> really? I also have rotor blades. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Why would you not have rotor blades? All right, fair, fair. So I guess then the question is, would school zone be the first over the the fence or sort of such, situate will, you guys where you want to be? And then I have I something to read here. I am, on, I am as tough as both of you combined, plus a bit extra. I will roll yeah. my eyes. Oh, yeah, big man. Oh, please protect it. Oh, please protect us. I can't wait to have my scared, tiny, little frosty body absolutely shielded by the might of a giant bus. It is a matter of and size. holds children. Yes, that holds children. Not right now, though. We are on a mission. Pretty unfortunate that you don't go to a magic school for buses. Why would I go to a magic school? I only believe in science. I now you two, hey, look, the area we're in is putting a lot of bad vibes. Okay, we're here to take out the bad vibes, not add to it. Well, speaking All of right. bad vibes, uh, the moment you say that. Uh, the moment school zone gets over the main gate, uh, red lights begin to flash at the security center and little like bits in the wall fold out and kind of go a boom, boom noise as it launches three drones into the air. And we're going to do our first combat as these heat seeker drones begin to hone in on what they think are intruders. So uh, the way initiative works is basically uh, since none of you have a skill in uh, initiative, you're going to be rolling just flat 2d20 and taking the lowest. And again, that is called a snag. And once we have initiative, I will add you to the turn order. Also, a little uh, how do you actually kind of roll that? It doesn't. It doesn't give you an option for just flat two d twenty. Uh, so uh, you, if you go into the specialty one, go. there's a snag option. Yeah. Oh, there we go. But you, you still choose one d two though. Uh, you still get the one d two. You don't get that, oh, right? Does it? Oh my god. Let me check. Let me check your sheets. Hold on. Uh, no, I mean in the in the specialty macro, the specialization macro. It still gives you a 1d2. Even oh, yeah, it still gives it. you a 1d2. So let me see. I so that six, is... by the way. That'll work. So... Oh, just the four. Just the four. Yeah, just the four. All right. So just Kondo, make certain to four. not add your d2, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. All right. Snag. Oh, I'm so mega last. So I, am, I, I have critically failed. I have Good roll. You, you did critically fail. So that is a 17 for... Uh, danger zone, and then a definite one for uh, for cone zone, unfortunately. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and start this encounter. All right, so first things at first, danger zone, you are up. Uh, what would you like to do in this moment? And I'll bounce back and forth between the combat reference sheet to show stream. But uh, tell me what it is you'd like to do, and let's see if we can uh, make this happen. Well, man, I'm taking out the bad vibe like I said. I'm going to deploy my long rifle to shoot that thing point blank. Okay. Uh, what is the deployment of your rifle? Is it a free action? Is it... Uh... It is now with the uh, loadout that I was given. Excellent. All right. So free action. Uh, you get speed minus two free actions, and you get one standard and one move. So one of your free actions is popping out your sniper rifle, and then uh, what's next? Yeah, taking a shot. Okay. So the way you take a shot is you tell me which uh, target you are doing. You tell me which effect you want to use in your weapon, because some weapons have multiple different effects. Then we're going to do upshifts and downshifts. Then we're going to figure out what defense. And then we're going to actually roll. So a little complicated up front, but once we get the hang of this, it's going to go pretty pretty quickly. Um, so which, seeker, uh, which heat seeker drone are you going to target first? Uh, the closest one. Closest one to you. Okay. And I'll use the one sharp damage effect. One sharp damage. All right. So, uh, what I would say is that, as far as I can tell, there are no upshifts or downshifts that are applicable to this current moment. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, let's see that attack roll. 
I believe I can aim, right? Uh, aiming is... I think you can, but that might be your standard. Let me double check. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I mean, if anybody finds it before me, let me know. Oh, what are you looking for? Uh, aiming specifically, whether or not that's a... Uh, it's a three action. Is a free it a free action? action? You have up to three, though. Yes, you have to three. Okay, there you go. Ooh. And what does that do you gain? You gain so one every, three. every time you aim, uh, it gives you a upshift. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I have a speed of eight minus two, so that's six free actions I have. Uh, that is correct. But it's the you, you have maximum, um, how do I say this? You have maximum three aim stacks per turn. Yes. So you have like yeah. six freeze, but a limit of three aiming. Yeah, so I can I can aim three times then. Correct. That's correct. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so that'll three up shift you. Um, what is your just for the folks at home? What is your uh, dice currently that you're looking at? Oh, one d eight. Okay, is that before or after the upshifts? That's before the upshifts. All right, well that's gonna upshift you into two d eight. So go ahead and uh, roll with two d eight, and let's see what happens. So do I go up to the 1d12 then? Because I don't have an option for multiple d8s. No, it's in the normal roll. Yeah, you're going to do it with the generic scroll, uh, generic macro if you're doing a 2d8 or a 3d6. Okay. Let's a little see confusing, what but... Like. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a little confusing, but that was the best way I could think to do the macro at the time. Reasonable, reasonable. Uh... Ooh, that's a 32. Ooh. So that is... All right, so... Ooh, 27! You, oh, 20. 20. you did get a natural 20, but your die, neither of them was a, uh, a uh, the highest number on the D8. It yes. wasn't an 8. But that's still 32. And no, I'm it's, just it's gonna... just 27. No, 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 no. No, the no way you're right. Works, you had both of them. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You had right. both. So... What I'm gonna tell you up front is that the drones were gonna evade... And you not only beat it one degree, but two degrees. So you can double your damage here. So you said, what was it, one sharp? Uh, yeah. All right. So how would you like to describe this particular heat seeker drone becoming nothing at all? I imagine I was, as, uh, as I said, like we were here to take out bad vibes. That thing pops out there. I immediately glance over it and my arm, my my cannon comes down, locks into place, and I just smile as I look back to Cone and take the shot. Nice. And yeah, how uh, how many bits and chunks does this thing fall into? I think it's like a nice clean board hole, just right through it. You can see right through the other side. Nice. Danger Zone oh, just says, <laughs> Danger Zone just says, Namaste. <laughs> I'll, I'll look over at the destroyed bot that slowly falls into the murk, and I will um, extend my uh, uh, left arm, take two fingers from my right arm, and put them into my uh, elbow, and be like, "Sheesh!" <laughs> it's all about recoil management. That is why you're impressive. God, that's terrifying. Well, the good you didn't news. Even look, you didn't even look. You were looking at me. <laughs> What's the good news? Des well, What's the good the news? The good news, well, good news for me anyway, is that uh, the drones get to go back to back now. At least the drones that are still here. So I think the first drone is uh, understandably going to go for school zone. And uh, um, I'm actually going to wait to see ooh. what uh, the the drone rolls before uh, we roll anything further. Okay. Stu, so, uh, I get a D2 on this. And let me see. Uh, out of curiosity, what is School Zone's uh, toughness? 17. 17. Good lord. Their evasion is also 17, so it doesn't really matter if you're targeting anything physical. Good lord. Well, uh, ooh, well, that is a 17. Oh, so, crazy nice, but oh, that's actually that works. No problem. Yeah, I was going to say, so I think it's meter beat. So a 17 will hit you. So Please, go for it. 
The Heat Seeker drone comes swooping out and kind of gets level with you, School Zone. And you All see right. it deploys underneath of it a little laser, uh, like a mini laser. And okay. it hits you for one laser damage. That's it. Oh, just, it just, hurts! I'm dying! Just, just one laser damage. <laughs> that was damage. an engager, by the way. That was an engager. <laughs> I knew the voice if it was. Ah, oh, it hurts. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, the... I guess you would call it good news for me is that because you got hit once, the other heat seeker drone now has an edge to hit you again. So basically Ooh, nice. because, because it hit once, it can uh, it can get an edge here. So go for it, it doesn't go matter. For it. it matters nothing because it rolled an eight and a one. So that is literally nothing. So the you second heat seeker drone suffer. The second heat seeker drone fires and hits somebody in Nebraska. That's how badly they missed. So, you know. But yeah, uh, who is next? Uh, up next is School Zone. Oh, are these 10 feet increments? Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Wow. So what's the point of having 45 feet of movement? What does a 5 feet do? I have no idea, to be honest. I think you're supposed Same. to round down, but all of the maps we're going to have tonight are all 10 feet maps. Doesn't okay. really matter, to be honest. I move fast enough anyway. I'm just sort of surprised. Mm -hmm. Either way. Cone zone. Let us see if you will have anything to do after this. No. So first, school Wait. zone. Rams, head first into this secret drone over here. Oh, All God. Right, now, now, Benno, or not Benno, Congo, as promised, for everybody who might be listening and are watching this is VOD, could you walk everybody through uh, your ridiculous ram just so that it's recorded for posterity? No! Oh, allow me to explain. The strongest level one build in Transformers Essence TRPG. First off, first off, first off, first off, it is quite difficult to get bonuses to attacks in this game on purpose because the developers balance the combat. What the developers fail to realize is that they made ramming a driving action. What this means is that I can stack up a ridiculous number of bonuses, including an edge to all ram attacks, meaning I rolled 2d20, take the highest one, for all my attacks. Right now, right now, before I even do anything at all, I already have the 2d8 upshift that Danger Zone had earlier, just passively, because of the Minicon piloting me, because of my d12 drive, and... I can increase that even further using a move action if I am pre-prepared. Now, let me demonstrate how much damage this ram does. First off, I will be rolling with an edge and all of my specialization, like so. And I will also be rolling 2d8. And I'll take the highest. So that will be 20, 31. 31 critical. How's that? Mm -hmm. That is uh, significant. So for those who might be confused oh. on stream, um, the way the macro works is it's a little bit unintuitive, but this is the only way I could get the macro to work. Um, is, so what we're doing, and let me actually expand it. So, oh, I, I think stream can see it. So the first roll, he rolled a natural 20, which is good on his D20. Um, he rolled the 1D2, the D4, the D6, the D8, the D10, the D12. Pretty bad rolls on all of those. Um, but then when Congo rolled the D8, uh, he got an 8 and a 3, and one of the dies was the highest 8, so that is considered a critical effect. And what happens on a crit is you either double the damage or you apply another effect on your damage or on your weapon. So well, Allow me to explain. Mm -hmm. The strongest melee weapon in the game is the two-handed blade, which does two damage when wielded with two hands. Because I am a school bus, because I'm a monolith, because I am a large vehicle, I am able to hit for two damage using my driving ram. This is multiplied to four because of the critical, and then this is multiplied to eight, assuming that I double their defense. You did double their defense, correct. Oh because my I 31, actual I did God. double their defense. That drone will take eight damage when I assume it has one HP. Yeah, so... <laughs> What happens to the drone in the narrative sense? Like, it's, it's super dead, but what happens in a narrative sense? So right before, right before school zone starts moving, you see the back of the bus open. And you notice that within the interior of school zone, there is a massive jet engine in place of any actual seating for children. The jet engine fires at full speed, launching school zone at a ridiculous pace towards the drone. 
turning it into nothing but dust. Can, can I add something to this, GM? What do you got? So we see what we see from the school zone side, but from the drone side, we see him waking up at the assembly line, being given a directive, going out, <laughs> doing his first mission. He finds his heat-seeking drone wife, and they get married, and they have a little heat-seeking drone baby, and then he puts on his hat and tie, and he's going off to work today. And then this happens. And there was a red alert. He gets to his boys. He looks to Heat Zeker Tone Z and gives him a wave. Ready to stop some baddies? Oh, you bet it. And he turns around and just the kanji for death appears as he is disintegrated. Instantaneously turned into molten much as a cone. Uh, what's it called? What, the, the blue shift cone when you go fucking hyperspeed, when you approach the speed of light, fucking appears and oh. melts and fuses with his body. So to explain, by the way, eight damage would be enough to kill either danger zone or cone zone in one hit. We would be dead. I would be what super dead. Them? Both of them would what? be instantaneously dead. And in the future, the night is raining. It's, it's a hard rain. Mrs. Heatseeker drones looking out the window wondering when she'll see him again. What are they coming back? Yeah. And little and little Seeky with his little baseball cap on. He's just like, I can't wait to get play can't catch with my dad when he gets home. But it's not over yet. You think that that's all that School Zone can do? No! I have a two-part combo. Watch this. So, School Zone continues to drive past and skids just a bit of a distance past the Heat Seeker drone, who is now nothing but nuts and bolts scattered around the area, right? Then, the side door opens, and a small red robot, wielding a giant stop sign, comes out of School Zone. Stop sign, destroy that extra one. I do not have the extra energy required to run them over. You got it, boss! And stop sign <laughs> goes over, goes over, and attacks the Heat Seeker drone. They exit out of school zone, they uh -huh. run down, and then they hit the Heat Seeker drone with their giant stop sign. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what happens. And stop him! <laughs> kill! Kill! <laughs> stop sign, kill! So stop sign rolls a 1d8 plus 1d20. You could say there's no stop sign. Oh, here we go, 21. <laughs> okay, so it's... good news for the drone. It's not double its defense, but that is still very oh, much two ahead. Damage. So, <laughs> right after this, a stop sign cleaves the drone in half using the stop sign. School zone drives under, and stop sign falls back into school zone. And they refuse. Now, GM. <laughs> what I do, boss? That wasn't bad. You can do better next time. Oh, I see. Now, GM, yes. from this side, from the perspective of the other Heat Seeker drone, he was having a secret affair with Mrs. Heat Seeker drone. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really his child. Oh my god. He, I can't have him find out. So he sees his buddy get disintegrated and he's like, he's like horrified, but at the same time, a dark relief. A go, oh, perverted dang. relief in his heart. Oh my god. I can finally be with her. I can finally be free. There's no way I'm fighting that thing. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna, gonna run leave, away. We'll right? run away together and we're gonna what is that? <laughs> So I just want to throw it out there to any GM who's listening to this, these shenanigans. You have the perfect origin story for a Decepticon. Um, I'd like to have a copy of whatever character sheet you run. Please, please do send that my way. But yeah, if um, they ever get rebuilt, here is my be splatter guts. Spl Ooh, I like that. Splatter here is my guts. optimized yeah. level one build. It is completely self-sufficient. It has 12 HP. It has the ability to attack twice in one turn. With roughly the output of a level eight, level nine character, level one. I was gonna say, yeah, you're you're definitely not level one. You don't feel like you're level one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, God no. But put this guy inside of a ballet, like a like an Autobot like play that he has to do, and otherwise he's gonna embarrass Optimus Prime, and School Zone turns into shit. So <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he's very specialized, which is why this works. But yeah, uh, overall, uh, the drones cease to exist, and silence would fall, but the alarm is still blaring from the security station at Station C on the map. <sighs> All right, let me have a look. Is there a console or anything nearby that I can see? Uh, yeah, if you hop the fence and you look inside, uh, what you're going to see immediately is that 
there is a big shiny red button because that's how it works in Transformers. There's always just a shiny button you push and the security system turns off. Um, nice. However, before you push it, I would also note that you, um, let me ask this, you have technology, yeah? I do. Roll me a technology, please. You got it. I actually, oh, no, I don't have that specific one. Okay, one sec. Technology coming your way to use your brain for stuff. Got that D2, here I go. By the way, yeah. allow me to say this. The existence of stop sign is top secret. He is not to be spoken about. He is not to be acknowledged. Do you Sco understand? <laughs> Schooly, we all know about stop sign. He's not illegal. You can have you can have a minicon. It's fine. No, I and mean, he's like our half brother. The important so part to keep secrets about stop sign is its incredible genocidal lust. <laughs> uh, oh, right. I'm sure Prime will get over that. It'll be fine. Where's the okay? I, I've um I split my a giant ice cream cone I, on my back into um uh, four sections and there's a big jet engine in the middle that uh, boosts me up and shoots a little psh, psh, and I'll go and um, uh, examine it further and then let's have a look here where is the rolling oh yeah generic there we go yep. uh, I guess one d two do you have any specialties I absolutely do not um is there any way I can Updo this? No. Also, I just well, realized that I you do have three upshifts from chat at the moment. Okay. If you want to use uh, any of those, feel free. I'm never using those. Basically. You got it. I think this will be an important check. Let's use all of them. So that'll give me use D4, all four, D six, D eight. Yeah. So the way it uh, way it goes up is those D two, D four, D six. Yep, it would give you a D eight. Got it. Let me look at my abilities and whatnot. Rollout, standard issue, immunity to carbon. Uh, that's on infiltration. I just realized I actually get an edge on initiative skill rolls. And oh, that uh, would have nullified it out. So you would have rolled a straight. D20. I know. So yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do that oh, well. in, the, in the next encounter. You got it. OK. And I think that's all. And then the rest of my are just the commands that I could issue to other people. So that's that's fine. Uh, not that it'll come up or that school zone will listen to me unless I tell him to ram stuff, which will make him better at ramming stuff. Mm. Go dice roll. Okay. 17. So with the 17, uh, once again, I'm going to zoom out for everybody to see, and I'm going to be pointing things out with the ruler tool. So go ahead and actually put yourself in C cause you're in there looking at a console right now. Um, so what you're going to see uh, is that there is a massive power drain coming from behind the wall of the warehouse. And in fact, you are noticing that the security systems don't actually have cameras uh, where H is located. So there's cameras pretty much all over this place that are recording and sort of acting as a security system for the drones. But interestingly, there's a blind spot here between G and H, meaning that you can't actually see into H and probably this line right here that I'm drawing uh, right at the cusp of G, there's a blind spot where the cameras, none of the cameras look at that wall. Ah. Uh, uh, interesting. And you would notice that there is a massive power drain or power expenditure coming from that direction of H. Oh, okay. In, so something's going on there. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll come back outside. Uh, looks like trouble. Sector H is a huge power spike. And how convenient. All the cameras are pointed away or don't even exist there. Talk about sus. I might even say it's full. And I get right up close to him, right next to the lustful danger of, of stop sign and be like, a sussy baka. A oh, hot. What are you referring to? I'm talking about ice cream sundaes for free. Let's get over there. Oh, while you are here, would you mind repairing me? Oh my, wait, you're, you're here for one damage. Are you? Oh, yes, oh wait, no, yeah, this? no, I see it here. Oh, I see it, he, he nicked you. Yeah, one second. It I transformed back into an small. ice cream truck. 
and uh, the back part and shift the entire back part of my body outward, extending myself into a super extra long uh, conveyor belt of construction and implements. All of the all of the ice cream making gear that was in there sort of like flips over and turns into mechanical gear for for fixing and a bunch mm. of like jets and uh, little mechanical hands start like slapping each other and, and giving each other the signs doing sheeshes you know like mm-hmm. dabbing default dances ev- literally anything from Fortnite. um mm-hmm. and uh, i will load school bus inside me fun so you're only repairing one health here so the difficulty mm-hmm. is going to be equal to a 10 and so you would be rolling technology in this instance how many repair kits do you have if any. Uh, do we need repair kits for those? You do, yeah. If you're going to repair a... That's... Yeah, if you're going to repair oh, yeah, a Cybertronian, we... you need a repair kit. I see. Um, I don't I assume that have we any just. How do I say this? We didn't equip any of them, but I don't think it's that hard to have extra slots. Do they cost anything? Uh, let me double check. I think, actually, as part of your standard loadout, you get one, but let me double check that. Okay. Uh, I don't think we did as a... Because uh, part of technically what we skipped was the loadout phase because we did the loadout phase in uh, mm. in zero in session zero. But let me look. All right, page one thirty two. Uh, da, 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 da. I assume that we could just use a standard repair kit. It's pretty cheap to. Yeah, I was no gonna say the, uh, all of us not to have it. I didn't realize the cost repair kit. Oh, we're taking a bunch. Well, you're good. You're good. No, so it's, it's only consumable if you want the extra bonus, but you want the repair kit just to roll without a snag. Yeah. So I would okay. say that Benno, that cone zone, you can have a repair kit, no problem. It's no big okay. deal, I suppose. All uh, right. Yeah. Let me also check it here. If you, uh, where was it? Is it the roll over a ten? here. Yeah. You just have to roll over a ten. And technically, what I'm reading here on the standard repair kit is that. Um, you can more or less just roll it straight, um, where yes. the downshifts and the upshifts kind of null it out. So whatever your specialization is, you can, uh, you can roll it. Yeah. Other also, um, in my alt mode, AKA in my train, what I'm in right now to go and heal him, uh, mm-hmm. other passengers make technology repair skill tests on them with an edge. Mm, so There's if they no repair themselves, though. Yeah. Also, I don't, I cannot suffer any kind of down dudes to technology down repair dudes. skills. Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. At least I'll take that one health if you can roll this. Yeah, I would say just down don't roll a one, good. is what I'm getting out of this. Don't, just, just, don't don't, one. Just, roll, just don't roll a one. Just don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Hey, yeah. Ooh, not fine. bad. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fine. Nice. There we go. Thank <laughs> you for the repair. I will remember this when the robot war begins. I did. <laughs> I, I think the robot war has already happened, brother. <laughs> Dead ass, we're in the robot war. This is not the great robot war. This is merely a robot war. You have not seen the future that I have seen. Oh, yeah. Tell me all about it. I can't wait to hear about it again. You definitely do not want to hear about it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look out, Dangy. He's learning sarcasm. No, that was not sarcasm. Allow me to explain. Oh, my God. In the future, <laughs> humanity will invent forms that are far beyond our imagination. And so we will copy these forms and become stronger and stronger as combat machines. Eventually, all Cybertronians will be specialized for combat. And we will all be here for murder and for no other reason. Kin will kill kin and brother um, will kill brother. And I'm in that gonna... time, I will not kill you. Danger Zone's just gonna take out that burger he made and just press it on School Zone's grill. <laughs> Look at you for the Energon burger. <laughs> you're not yourself when you're hangry. <laughs> oh, I'm not angry at all. I just ran someone over at Mach 5. I think that I am quite satisfied. <laughs> That's good, man. That's good. It hurts to laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Are you good? Are we good? Okay, I'm good. Go. I'm good. All right. Uh, where are you guys moving? At this point, unless you trigger another alarm, you can move about the map. But where would you guys <laughs> like to go? Just go down the road, right? Just go down the road. Yeah. Now, one thing I should say is like you kind of see this uh, this middle part here where it yes. goes like underneath itself. Over. Um, there's technically another road which kind of comes out uh, between F and G, 
and it branches to the west and the east. So this is how you get into the warehouse is you would come oh, down see, see. and then take a turn here. Or if you wanted direct access to the uh, conveyor belts, you could also go to the west as well. Mm. I think we should in. check out H. That's got a huge power draw, though. I think that that would be satisfactory. We are in no particular rush to canvas this area. It's going to float on over. All right. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and get yourself situated where you want to be in G. So... Be careful. Yeah. Uh, so can't, back. can't be renamed danger, man. Just go Not on here. Careful, can we though. see? Yeah, can we good. see this door at this point? Um, yeah, that's what I was going to describe. Once you guys get all situated in G. Um, so what you're seeing is that the warehouse again is empty because normally it storms energon cubes, but in the aforementioned wall, in that uh, wall down here, which somebody has actually outlined for me. Nice. Uh, this wall here. Uh, is, shall we say, excavated, removed, uh, otherwise destroyed, and it actually pierces through to what you see in H. Now, what you see in H is basically a large transparent tube, whether it's glass or something else, you're not sure, but there's a transparent tube with a glowing plasma conduit of some sort oh, that is uh, feeding into... Uh, basically power cables that then run into the earth and I'm going to say not even a role required really. Um, Cone Zone, you know that this thing, whatever it is, is powering the larger force field above you. Now, the only thing keeping you from getting to uh, the power generator in question is that opening, which is again highlighted in red, there is another force field right there. So you have to figure out how to get past that force field in order to just shut down the whole thing. But what is there that is giant cylinder? Like, what's that cylinder doing? It's 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 what's keeping the the force field active or Yes, yes, it's, it's basically it's a power generator. Ominously. Yes, there you go. Glowing ominously. It's kind of pulsating and sparking with electricity and all sorts of like hot plasma gases and the like. All huh. right. So should I run into it? Uh, uh, I don't know, Schooly. It's a, it's a force field. I think even you might take a bit of damage. Reasonable. Mm. We gotta think this one through. Uh, let me see what I what I got here. I am but a file clerk, or rather, I was but a file clerk. I do not know how to handle technology. Oh, uh, hey, have you guys heard about our younger brother? The girl oh, he liked baby. turned him down. Per friend zone's beside himself. <laughs> I think that it was incredible yeah, well... cool to call him friend zone. <laughs> God damn it. I uh, think that it would be better to call it him no zone or lonely no. zone or ozone. Because his personality is like air. Ha, 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 I looked ha, him ha, ha. savage, <laughs> and then just slowly approach the. I, I want to get near the um, the force field for it here, just so you I can see if it? I can maybe uh, maybe try to understand what this is. Okay. Just don't try to rob into it. I ignoring you, ignoring you now. I'm big, <laughs> big ignoring, ignoring you now. I'm gonna. What do you hate? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, so Cone Zone, uh, since you again, you are the resident technology expert, uh, you can roll. I have a D2. How am I the expert? Uh, you know, you never know. Um, now, relatively that, relatively. <laughs> now, that said, that said, real quick, I'm going to actually go back yep. to the non combat reference sheet because we need to talk about assisting. So, if either School Zone or uh, Danger Zone can. Uh, assist you, you can actually get an edge or a upshift of one. Now, the only prerequisite is that you have to have training in the skill. So, danger zone, school zone, do either of you actually have technology? No, I got, I took culture and persuasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also have culture. It's that the is culture a great role, right? Yeah. I even have a specialty in culture. I have a pop culture specialty. 
You know what? Let's do that. You know what? Uh, since this is technically uh, a, Dece- uh, it's obviously Decepticon. Like it's it's purple. It's 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 pink. You know it's Decepticon. Um, why don't we do a cultural instead? I think a cultural would apply here because you would. It's oh, weird the way so the system nice. defines it. All right, we'll go for it. By the way, I checked, and the med kit requires a D two. How do I say this? A D four, pardon, in technology to actually use. I mean, we should have brought that with a downside. It doesn't really matter because we had all the time in the world. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you had the time, and even with the downshift, he still rolled an 18 on the D20, so we're good. Should have been fine, should have been True. fine. True. All right, so um, with that, so if he if he does that, then I get an edge, and Correct. that means I get to go to the specialty dice. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, let me actually keep us on here so you can see it. So uh, what is your current dice? Um, I have a D4, and I have a pop culture specialty. Okay. So does that mean I, I do 1D2, 1D4, and I roll, I click on edge? Uh, well, you can either do an edge, or you can upshift to a D6. Your call. Hmm. What does an edge do? So edge means that you roll the highest of 2D20. You basically have advantage, like you would have in D&D. Oh, I think that's that's probably a lot... What, what what is and what is my pop and my pop culture? Would that help me in this situation? Or no. That is what is letting you roll with specialization rather than just rolling the skill die. Ew, I see. Okay. So then, if I upscale it, I get one d four, one d two, one d four, and one d six. Correct. You would take the highest from those. Ew, I see. I think an edge would probably still be better in this situation. So I'll do one d. All right. So edge. just go ahead and. All right, a 15. And what I would say is that uh, school zone and uh, co- cold zone or cone zone, as you uh, kind of look at this force field, uh, you realize that kind of on the left side, there is a small gap, which might be big enough for a mini con to squeeze through. <gasps> and you would know, based oh, on your is. cultural studies, that... The Decepticons mm-hmm. are absolutely notorious for leaving gaps in their force field. In fact, if you had enough time, you could probably find a gap or two in the bigger force field uh, up above to the north. Oh. So just to clarify, you need kits at all to heal someone, so I should not be able to be healed. Just to clarify. Okay. Just to oh, play by the rules. Fair so enough. I'll be at 11 health. Not an issue. And yes, uh, one thing I should point out is you can actually modify the health on your token, or you can modify it yes. in your character sheet. Uh, the way you would do that is you would just left-click uh, your token uh, while you're in the token select. Or sorry, I believe Love it's it. a right-click. And there should be a bar that you can modify, that blue bar. But yeah. As he's figuring that out, uh, what would you guys like to do now that you know that there's a mini-con-sized uh, area you could squeeze through? I will point it out to uh, to Schooly over there. I think that the cons left a bit of an opening for well, Stop side would be strong your enough little to buddy's enter side. without That's much right. issue. However, the issue Correct. is that it will be stop sign entering there. Are you confident? Hmm. Is there any way? I could dis- disrupt the um, the force field for it there by shooting where the um, the plasma is coming out, or is it like an internal like there there is no sections in which you can actually like um, shoot anything for it there? Because I have a I have a big cold gun that I could mm-hmm. probably ice ice cream up the the sides for it here if that would interrupt the flow of energy. But I don't know if it yeah, would. Yeah, well, that. no, we we can make that happen. And I think this is maybe a good point to uh, talk about story points and energon points. So let me switch over to that handout. Please so do. basically, energon points and story points are meta currency that uh, the story points are shared among the PCs, and every PC has their own energon points. So story points, you can re-roll any die result of one. You can treat a skill test as if it's specialized. You can add plus five to your defense before any dice are rolled or plus one after. Uh, You could gain temporary access to a minor piece of equipment or tool useful in the scene. So I guess technically if you wanted to get a repair kit, we could have said that you used a story point, but we can figure that out in a moment. No, the issue Um, is that we don't have the technology D4 to use a repair kit. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So it still wouldn't help you. Um... You can also get a clue if you're stumped, or you can activate something that has a special rule that requires the expenditure of a story point. 
Um, now that said, um, you can use your Energon points, your personal pool, to gain an upshift, ignore a snag, uh, stay up. Uh, you could also regenerate an Energon point in another character, or you can activate powerful perks, equipment, etc., etc. Um, so I just wanted to point that out to you because what I'm going to tell you is that cold cone zone, you would be doing this at a downshift of two, uh, if you were to make this shot. Oh no. Oh God. I'm already really bad at targeting. If you fail, then I will send stop sign in. Do not worry. Well, you should worry a bit because stop sign will handle things if you fail. Uh... Just, just how unhinged is stop sign? Allow me to answer by saying that it's better if you do not know. <laughs> he just sighed so, so like a brain just fucking fries. I, uh, hey, Dangy, we need you down here. I'll yell. I'll yell back at Dangy. Danger Zone probably has the. Proper amounts of targeting to help you with this shot. Just slowly yeah, drift on down. Oh, sorry. What was that? I was kind of just dreaming of my own little world. Yeah. I'm noticing that you've been doing that. No cap. All right. So. I'm trying to see here. We might be able to plug up the sides of this, but I don't know if I'd be able to get a good enough shot. I was wondering if you could steady my... Uh, Steady my stream here, and uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll unfold. Um, it, um, I will unfold the actual giant ice cream on my back uh, away from being a um, uh, a jetpack, and instead fold it out into a uh, massive ice cream cannon that has mm. the uh, the SpongeBob's mouth uh, with a little nozzle coming up. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Oh, that's terrifying, bro. What? No, he's a. It's a cartoon character. Everyone loves him. Including Except you. Except for me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you may have a story point for just... <laughs> just... <laughs> don't, don't give me a story point. That's not I a don't, character. Story I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't... Yes, you can. Absolutely. There's anything. Anything goes. <laughs> I don't particularly love him. What do you mean, Exile? Everyone loves SpongeBob. All right, go on, go on. Okay. Um, can I use aim actions to offset the... Um... You can. You can aim up to three times. Oh, nice. And can I get Danger Zone to help me as well? Because he helped me aim. Danger Zone wants to help you, yeah. I don't I'll think I actually can help him. Because of oh, aim combat only. you don't have the power to uh, to assist? Or do I you just not have the power to, to assist? It's like, just because I have skeptical. Uh, oh! One of the minuses you can oh. get. Yeah. Like, like nice, what nice. Is, what is, uh, you know, authority assistance, man? Like, I, I think just a hierarchy is a construct of our imagination. Uh, my, I noticed that my, like, pleading face isn't helping. I'm like, wait, no, no, no. Skeptical, skeptical prevents you from gaining benefits, but you can give benefits still. Hey, I gave him the pleading face. I gave him the pleading face. I'm still skeptical. <laughs> I turned my gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no, man. No, it, is, it is not I, time to kill each other. If it's, that, if it's that time, then you will both be dead. Let's I, go for it. I can, just, I can just do the shot if you want me to, man. Like, I, got, I got the better gun anyways. Oh. Is that true? Snap. Is it better than my cold gun? My cold gun that, does, that, does, that shoots ice cream? He has a better gun than my cold gun? He did kind of core a heat seeker drone earlier with his sniper, yeah. But this is ice cream gun. Oh, you it's tell me who's, who's uh, actually it, firing here is the question. Isn't it more stupid if, if, it, if it gets gunked up by ice cream? I mean, I think that's fun. You just gotta tell me. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try and go for it. it. All right. All right. Go for it. All right. So if I use my three free actions to aim, mm -hmm. then that takes away two of the down and upships me one. Correct. Wait, what's your speed, though? Is it at least five? Yes. 
Okay, no problem, then. Go for it. Yeah. All right, in 11. So here's what's going to happen is you line up the shot. What kind of ice cream comes out out of curiosity? How disgusting do you want this? Preferably <laughs> PG. Oh, okay. I look at the rating and I notice that we're down to PG and I'm like, all right. Um, we're going to have Super Kid, so it's a rainbow. Okay. All right. So uh, rainbow ice cream shoots out and it just splatters all over the... Uh, glowing purple tube that's generating energy and then it starts to melt off all right you have been given your chance stop sign enter through the hole you got it boss all right all of you idiots gotta get through this tiny hole because you're too big i'm going through right now all right that sounds fair so uh does uh your mini con have infiltration no, it doesn't. All right, which means you're rolling a 2d20 flat and taking the lowest. Oh, really? Yep. Nope. No problem. No problem. Oh, it's not an old mode. Yeah, okay. Hey. Uh, let's oh. roll this. Standard. Cool, oh, cool, my cool. lord. A four. Okay. So, uh, stop sign gets maybe about three quarters of the way through and then gets lodged. And I mean, uh like lodged lodged like oh. just out of reach uh lodged oh oh no uh, you're uh, to be stuck st stop sign and i can't yeah. get out are you okay you all right little guy it'll take me just a moment okay he says he has it he's he seems confident so he stop sign starts hacking at the area around him using his stop sign see it seems like he has it so we just kind of hear the scraping of, uh, what does he have for a weapon? Just a, a metal it's weapon? It's not like an energy weapon? No, no, no. It's a, it's a large, um, it's a large Cybertronian metal, whatever, close combat heavy blades, but it's a stop sign. Okay. So we, we hear the sound of, uh, frantic metal on rock and it's, it's kind of a screeching grating sound. It's and... a mini laser too, but that's slower. So yes. Yeah. But, uh, I would say that, uh, maybe about after five, 10 minutes of doing all this, uh, he has managed to carve a hole open, and he can continue down to H. That took me a moment. What are you looking at? See, he had it. See, look, he had it. Great. You're doing great. I am doing great. I don't I, need you that's to tell what me I that. Said. I, okay. All right. I think All right, so stop saying this enters through the hole. Just peek mm -hmm. through it first. He's very careful. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, what you would see is that kind of a room has been introduced to what used to be just sort of, well, rock, mountain. And again, aside from the uh, big purple generator that's powering all the force fields, um, there's a few walls that look like they tried to put some extra equipment or power cables on. But it, this is a this is a rush job. You know, this was done pretty, pretty quickly from what you can tell. I'm just going to shoot everything. Okay. Target oh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to have you roll for this because... So it's... Stop Sign doesn't shoot the generator itself, he shoots the wires coming out of it at least. Okay. I got some mercy. <laughs> Alright, wanted to be sure. Because um, if you did shoot the generator, I had rules for it. It would blow up, yes, I figured. Yeah. So, you sever all the power cables, very easy for you to do. And you do hear uh, a new alarm begin to sound, new red lights begin to flash. But you also now make it, uh, you get a transmission from Bumblebee. And he says, uh, come in, come in. For real, I, I actually had an interference that time. Uh, whatever you just disabled, uh, I can now talk to you. And I, I don't know what you did, but uh, it looks like whatever you just deactivated, it was a jamming signal that, uh, well, you guys know Sherman Dam about uh, 10 minutes north of you. Uh, let's go with, yeah, you got it, Bumblebee. What I about the dam? German dam? Well, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, there are some massive Energon readings coming from Sherman Dam, and I don't know how long it's been like that, but there's no way with energy reading, Energon readings like this that the Decepticons aren't there absolutely making a mess of the place. So, get going. You need to get, get going. Bumblebee, before we continue, can you allow me to say something to you? Uh, Sure. I apologize for the crash comments from earlier. They were not of my own volition. Yeah, you suck, Bumblebee! 
Okay, I feel like we need to have a psychiatrist meeting at some point, but okay. Uh, My no. psychiatry is perfectly fine. The issue is when I am docked with stop sign, he doesn't say anything, and they read talk immediately. Bumblebee, you are a piece of garbage. Let's go to Sherman <laughs> Dam right now. <laughs> Uh, well, we're gonna go to Sherman Dan Bumblebee. You have a um, a, a, I have a dreadful you have a, day. You have a day. You have a day. You have I'm a, the worst day. I, I hang up on him. I hang up. Yeah, hang stop. up. Yeah, you hang up. Stop right now. Stop, Schoolie. Now, stop. We're gonna get in so much. Oh, we're gonna be in so much trouble. Our buns are gonna be uh, are coned up. All right. We're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be redder than the peppermint peppermint ice cream. All right. We're Would you done. Like to hear a joke. No, I want to. I want to roll out. Everyone, roll out. Well, we're going to roll out, but this is very important. I was screwing with him. I have complete control of my own speech. Yeah, that was pretty funny, boss. It was very funny. <laughs> Danger! Danger! Please say something. Give me something. <gasps> Let's go, Raiders! Funny. What's good? <laughs> Also, yeah, side note for anybody who's watching the live, we did just get raided by Choco Jack, so I do have to say hello to them. Uh, Choco Jack's viewers, we are actually doing a one shot of the Transformers RPG. Um, if you're interested in Transformers and or tabletop role playing games, I definitely encourage you to stick around because it is definitely a fun time. Or at least I've been dying of laughter for the past, oh, however long we've been going. <laughs> But yeah, we've been going uh, for about an hour and a half. Yeah, about an hour and a half. But yeah, um, as you all leave the Energon facility, I'm actually going to put you on a new map preemptively because I have a bit of a story element to read here. So let me go ahead and put you on this map. So as you all leave the Energon facility and follow the road towards Sherman Dam, you eventually arrive at the O'Callaghan Tillman Memorial Bridge. And what you see before you is that traffic is backed up on the highway tremendously. And as you sort of, you know, not really push your way through, but as you make your way through traffic, what you realize is that there are several jets flying overhead and you would immediately recognize them as Decepticon Seekers. And you can tell that... There's a part of the bridge that has already been blown out. In fact, there's a few cars that are sort of teetering uh, dangerously over the edge of the bridge. But uh, at this point, uh, anybody who has uh, alertness or anybody who has... Um, is anybody an analyst? Uh, let me ask that. Is anybody an analyst? No. I don't believe anyone is. Okay. No. Shizno might be. Are you an analyst, Shizno? No, I'm a uh, experiment uh, security. Nice. Okay. Same here. Okay. So what I would tell you then is the analyst doesn't apply, but you could oh. make um, an alertness test to gain additional information here. Anybody could do it. Um, you might have a case, though. I think this should be a five foot field, considering these cars. These should definitely be a five foot field. Yeah. Let me reduce this to a five foot real quick. But yeah. Um,. Overall, uh, that's what you see when you come to the O'Callaghan Till Memorial Bridge. Is there any need to think about this? Let us simply run them over. Well, that's the other thing, is that right now, um, you guys are sort of incognito, and you are down here at 1 and 2 on the map. And for the moment, nobody knows your Autobots. So oh, if you want to actually hands. get through the traffic, there's a skill test I got to have you do, but... Let's see, this is for alertness, what both is, of you. Actually, L. could I roll could I roll drive to seem like a normal car? There there's a roll for it, but oh what you got? What you got, Benno? Al Go for it. Yes. You need to change Night Boom's name to Nightburn because they all have burn in their name. They do, no, right? That was very deliberate. That was that was, it was very a joke. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Hold on. I see what you're doing. So Rage Burn, Grim Burner, and Night Burn. Alright, hold on. I see what you're putting down. Yeah. I like it. It has to. There's something wrong with us. There's, I think that I think that the Skepticons had a weird breeding program, and we're accidentally like, like we we just got taken from one of their batches, and they're like, yeah, we can reprogram them as Autobots, and we're just a bunch. We're one of those weird triplet monstrosities that they made up. We're definitely accidental Decepticons that have been turned. That's why everyone's weird around us. That's why Bumblebee hates us. 
Well, Bumblebee doesn't hate us. We just hate Bumblebees the other way around. I don't, said, like, I don't hate Bumblebee, man. He's <laughs> Well, that's that's the thing. So unfortunately, with a ten, uh, you don't get any additional information um, oh, other than the I fact sh- that you do see that there are people getting out of their cars and trying to run away from the, uh, well, the uh, cars teetering over the edge. You know that hole in the bridge. And what I would also tell you is that uh, you guys, if you look up, you see B and C. Uh, you do see that there are about two humans each, one in uh, two at B and two at, at C, that are trying to get out of their cars, but either you know the traffic is so jammed in that they can't get out, uh, or uh, that they are just sort of stuck uh, underneath like a crashed vehicle. Um, now again, right now nobody knows you're an Autobot. And I would simply remind you of what Bumblebee said earlier about staying disguised. However, there are humans in danger. There are Decepticons in play. So what you do next, I leave to your discretion. But uh, I tell you what, we've been going for an hour and a half. So let's take a five to ten minute break here so I can refresh my drink. And uh, we'll be back shortly, everybody. So stick around. All right, and welcome back to part two of the uh, Transformers one-shot. We are running the Troubles Water Module, and I have died about 16,000 times from just doubled over laughter. Uh, Where we last left our intrepid zone heroes, uh, they had just arrived at the O'Callaghan-Tilliman Memorial Bridge, where Decepticons are making life hell for some humans. Now, at the moment, uh, there are four humans directly in danger. Uh, I have indicated them on the map in the form of teal squares. And also, you do note that there are three Decepticon Seekers, or basically jet fighters, that are strafing the bridge and firing up and down the bridge, not only harassing the humans, but causing pockmarks, and potentially, if they fire enough in one spot, they might open up another hole like we see right above where A is on the map. Um, Now, technically, we are not in combat yet because you all have just arrived on the scene, but I am curious what you would do in this instance. All right. I think that in this case, there is no real reason to hide. I will go (laughs) kill them. Code zone, you will save them. And danger zone, you will snipe them from there. Does that sound amenable? Actually, I had a fantastic, wonderful, mind-blowing, boggling idea. What I'm going to be? be a jet and go after them, and I'll go pew, 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 and you two, while vehicles, go up and grab the people, because school zone, you can hold the most. Are you confident in being actually, able to fight three jets at actually, once? Actually, I can hold the most. <laughs> well, whoever can hold you the, most capacity. the most You have uh, yeah, I can, I can hold six passengers, six crew. Uh, let me see how many, how much monolith can hold. Actually, let me. Double I check. think you're even. Hold on. Uh, oh, wow. okay. I think that increased. I think that monolith has increased capacity by default. Basically, let me just double check. Yes, I have a crew of six, so I can hold six people. Also, hey, can Samers. To be fair, I'm significantly larger, so it's not really. It makes sense that you would have equal. Hmm. I, but I, I think that I. It'll be dangerous for them to be inside school zone anyway. Yeah, there's a mini con in there. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes blood. <laughs> so like, I I can go and distract them, and I'll be fine. I'm pretty zippy. Whoosh, leave one away. On one, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, Sound so. the drumsticks of war, cause it's Autobot time. The drumsticks uh, of war. Oh my god. All, All right. right. Um, we will prioritize range. the rescue of the humans. Yeah. So at this point, um, let's go ahead and enter into initiative orders. So go ahead and uh, oh, roll. roll I've already snack. rolled for hey, roll our garbage. <gasps> oh, wait. No, roll my neutral because I get the edge and then also the snag. Yeah. Why do you have an edge from what? I have because it, it's one of my powers, my field commander ability. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. I rolled a one. Right. Okay. So Congo has a one. I like how I'm uh, always within Shizno, one. Shizno, you have a 12. Okay. So we do. All right, then. Benisphere, roll for it. Got it. Um, all of these add a 1 or D2 or is something. That, that yeah, just do D2 the D2, and, and, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just take ignore the D2. Just. You got it. 
Uh, here we go. Ding. All right, so oh. a six. Well, you know, it's still enough. goes first, despite no bonus. I suppose oh. seekers are just built different. Oh, they really are. Like, they are uh, pretty fast, all things considered. So, uh, Nightburn is going to go first, and let me just zoom out for stream here. At this point, Nightburn, uh, being a Decepticon Seeker, actually has a aerial speed of 45 feet and is going to actually uh, introduce a strafing run. So what this is going to do is it's going to be a driving skill test versus a single target's toughness. So let me go ahead and move him the uh, 45 here. So one, two, let's see, I think... Let me actually use the tool here so that I'm doing it fair. 45 feet. Yep, I had it right. It's going to move 45 feet. And since you're in the front cold cone zone, I don't know why I keep trying to call you cold zone, um, he is going to attempt a driving skill test against you. So uh, what is your toughness? What, what are the requirements for strafing? Oh, I'm a regular I, I'm not familiar What's with this mechanic. So it, it's a special thing that the Decepticons have, right. and basically uh, if they manage... Actually, no, hold on. They cannot do this because they have to pass within 10 feet of you. So oh, I see, I see. they can't do a strafing run, I, but they I can... thought they would, because I, I figured that strafing would mean going near the person. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I misread it what I It would also just mean like a moving shots, which would be interesting too. Yeah, it has to pass within 10 feet, so it can't do a strafing run quite yet, but it can at least fire with its mini laser all the same. So let me just check distances here real quick. I think you're all within range. No, you actually guys are all out of range. So Nightburn nice. is instead going to double move all the way up to here, and that'll be his entire turn. Uh, Danger Zone, you're up next. Does he say anything? Uh, no, he just kind of goes, Nyeom, except with cooler jet noises. Uh, well, I'm a jet, and I'm going to move 41 direction so out of the map. I can kill I'm... I can kill Nightburn right now. Nightburn's in ramming range, unfortunately. So you can go <laughs> and kill one of the other two. <laughs> Danger zone. Well, is he, is he low to the ground, or is he up high? I can fly. Uh, he it. is, I'm going to say he's about 20 feet up, so he is low. That's, that's no problem. Okay. Uh, so then, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly 40 off the map, and then I'm going to do a nice little flip spin and uh, move 10 closer back to the map, and then well, that's, that's that's fine. It's within 600 feet. <laughs> uh, three free action to aim three times. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. And I'm just going to pop him with the uh, uh, long rifle that's attached to my alt mode. Okay. So we kind of see a uh, EML or a metromagnetic launcher just kind of come from the undercarriage of the Dark Star and just begin to charge. And let's see this shot. That is a 23, which uh, is more than sufficient. Uh, let me see. Is that double? No, it is not no, double. Um, so what is the damage on that? Uh, unfortunately, oh, yeah, it's not a crit was, uh... because actually, no, hold up. Is that a? Okay, that's no, a no, D2. No, no, two doesn't count. Yeah, so the two, two doesn't count. count. So what is the basic it, damage that your rifle does? It's one uh, damage without the downgrades. Yeah, one sharp damage. Okay, one sharp. All right, so you do ding, uh, rage burn. You uh, get a nice shot across his chassis, and he uh, kind of screeches in uh, speaker fashion and goes, What are you doing? What? Autobots, says when can you fly? Right. <laughs> Since when can also fly? We can all fly. <laughs> we can all fly. <laughs> and uh, did you want to do anything else, uh, Danger Zone, before we go to Rage Burn? Uh, I'm going to put on the uh, Kenny Loggins Danger Zone song. Okay. Can't play because of DMCA. Way but... to the <laughs> Danger Zone. All right. So let me uh, let me check uh, his movement here. He can move up to ninety. Uh, yeah, he's wow! just a move. Wow! It's a double move. It's it, double with the double move. move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't forget their free actions. By the way, they can use free actions to move up to their oh, speed. Oh, yeah, you're right. So Rageburn actually gets to move that much with free. I think. Let me double check. Yes. It's five, you can right? use free actions to move. That's crazy. Yes, you can move five feet per free action. Yes. Oh, Actually, wow. no. He has a speed of that, which means he can also move an additional 15 feet, if I did the math on that right. So he's going to come right about here, and that's going to be his He's going to come? Yes. 
Uh, Cone Zone, uh, what are you going to do about all this coming? Mood. <laughs> you could probably take a Rage Burn since Rage Burn was ticked for one Flex time. on him! We, we could get around to DMCA by uh, playing the uh, Benny Noggins. Uh, the Benny Noggins. Uh, Threatening <laughs> Sector song. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> is there is there like a, well, I don't know, like a remix or something? There probably is, but I don't have Danger Zone music. There's no perhaps. reason to risk it. How? Why? More? <laughs> I have one approved song that I'm saving for a well, very they, special They only moment. have 3 HP. They only have 3 HP. You should we definitely take that? that school zone. Who knows? No, their bar's visible above their heads. Yeah. Oh. That's very deliberate, because, I, again, I wanted to make sure we were doing the damage right. So, yeah, they uh, they got three. They have three HP? I can see mm -hmm. it. That's not good. Just, That's not good for them. Use your head to decipher their power. They only have roughly. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's always so meta to say three HP in character. <laughs> <laughs> they do not seem that tough. I should be able to splatter that one over there. Cone zone, you should take that one that was shot by danger zone. Uh, whose turn is it? Yours. It's your turn. Oh, sh it's my turn. Okay, okay, okay. My, 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 my. Um, does he know? He knows. They know. They, they know. They, uh, they know. We shot them, right? Wait, we haven't transformed yet, though. Is the thing we we are not. How do I say this? Wait, did they shoot Cone Zone? No, they didn't. They just moved. Two. They just moved. Yes, they just moved. Okay, can I use this bus for cover? You could. Is there a cover? Is is there? A there cover? is. There are cover mechanics. Okay, as part of a as part of that move that ten foot move action, am I able to also alt, or is that a separate its own separate action? I believe that is. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that is actually a free action to alt mode. Ooh, okay. Let me double check because I'm pretty sure it's not. Let's find out together. Okay. Uh, let's see, because it is a very important part of combat. Uh, because my, see. I I have a free action to transform from how do I say this to transform from humanoid to alts. Oh, here it is. So, converting from alt mode to bot mode move, is right? your standard, unfortunately. It's your standard. Wow. Then you know what? Um, okay. Do they? Do I need to do like an inconspicuous check or something? Infiltration? Um, no, but if you are going to drive up there, um, I am going to have you do a driving check to get past all the jammed cars and the traffic jam between you and where you want to go. You can focus on saving the people. That's perfectly fine. That's true. I'm, just, I'm actually not, the worst at driving. Nightburn is in the air, so it's pretty safe to just drive under them. Basically, I, I don't think not for me. Not with not when you're so bad at driving that you have no no ranks in driving. I'm actually the worst at driving. Ooh, you hate to see it. I mean, I'm I gonna, believe. I, do you? Okay. Here Give we go. Shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna get stuck and get shot at. All right. Um, where's the snag? One D2 right? snag. Yep, and we'll ignore right. the D2. So that is a total of six, six for you, unfortunately. So, Cone Zone, uh, you ram into the back of the bus, and now we actually have to talk about crash rules, because there oh. are actual crash rules. I wasn't going fast, or was I going fast? Well, technically, as far as you were in terms of this system, um, it is considered a crash, unless I'm grossly misreading what crash means. Uh, but let me check. I don't think it's anything too major. Uh, let me just... Lost that page. Where was it? It's here somewhere. If someone finds it before me again, just let yeah, me know. Yeah, it's on page uh, 163. Here it is. Okay. I, I recall. Uh, because it's very important see. for me. Uh, da, 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 da. actually no so actually you are not crashing because you still can move like if you had hit like a building or if you had hit like the bridge wall that would be considered uh, crashing and so you're good so you don't actually crash but what I am going to say is I'm stuck I I'll give you a choice guy. you can either be stuck and you got to skill test your way out of it or uh, you can take one uh, damage to your HP oh, you can, as you You can just transform past. to uncrush. Yeah. I will. That, if you're willing I to take will, your actions, I will, transform. I will stay stuck and then just transform and just hide behind the, the bus's cover. Like, ah, God, this bus. <laughs> it's so big. It's wider than your load, school zone. 
That is entirely reasonable. I'm a school bus. School buses are generally for children. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I guess that's that's all I can really do for right now. Um, mm -hmm. Although I have, um, as a field commander, I do have contingency actions that I can nice. set up as part of my smart. Sure. Well, you um, probably want to move go... behind. You probably want to move here, right? You probably want to move here. So that you're behind the bus. There you are. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. Uh, so let me go and just read what it what it do again. Please, please. What it do? What it do? So contingency is like uh, basically a ready to action in D and D, where you tell me yeah. a set of conditions, and if those conditions happen, you do the action. Um. So I the issue is that have you've used your nothing. To transform. I have actually nothing left because I used my move action and I used my standard action to transform. So all I have is free actions, and I have nothing left to do with them. <laughs> nice. All right. So yeah. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. So wait, there's a actually no. This is this didn't need to happen. Let me say this because there is a rollout ability that everyone has. All Autobots have. When you roll for initiative, you can convert to your old mode before combat begins without an action. So yeah, I guess we could flavor it that way. Would you uh, want to be in your alt mode when we started? Yes. Would you want to just do that safely, or do you want to just go with it as is? Because if, if you I, do convert, uh, yeah. If you do convert, you would get your standard back. Yes. Do you okay. want to do that? Do you want to roll out? Let's roll out, dude. Well, let's as we said, out. it lets you basically start in your bot mode rather than your alt form. No, 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 actually, no, pardon, pardon. Let me read roll out. It says you can choose to become a vehicle for free. <laughs> oh, oh, so we read never that mind, backwards. It's actually bought into alt mode. Is yes, what it yes, is. yes, 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 yes. Okay. It's, that's right. silly. That's hilarious. It only benefits me. <laughs> Again, you know, just we're, we're seeing the cracks in the system, which is fine. You know, all right, all right. Every system. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, oh. Cone Zone, you're uh, you're doing your thing. Uh, Grimburner. Right, do nothing, yeah. Go for it, Grimburner. Uh, Grimburner is... Kill the humans! Kill the humans! <laughs> no, you're not going to kill the humans, it's good. It's good that you're not. <laughs> no, they actually give very specific directions that no human is to die in the middle of this adventure. So... Oh, that's sick! They, they, they roll by, uh, kid cartoon rules, where even if they shoot that's at the humans, fine. the humans live at the end of the day, so... Alright, alright, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Use the yeah. humans as weapons, they can't be killed! <laughs> <laughs> My human I, should, I walked into that one. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think Grimburner's just gonna fly up and he's gonna shout to Rageburn and Nightburn, "What are you doing? Just shoot them! We had to get closer, boss. Yeah, we had to get closer. Shut up, Nightburn!" And uh, <laughs> it is now School Zone's turn. Did as you mimsy that guy? <laughs> I did mimsy that guy. Yeah. Oh, here we go! Full power, full throttle. The entire back of school zone opens, and again, the jet engine flares out with blue fire. And the three, the three Decepticon seers just see this ridiculous plume of smoke and fire coming out from behind school zone. Prepare to die. Exterminate. And I, I just school want to say zone. that as you're doing all this and you're doing your rolling, um, the humans it. all look over to you like, holy crap, is... Is that the rocket truck? Yeah, man, but oh my god, it looks like a... Holy crap, look at it, so Nightburn, <laughs> Nightburn first takes the full ram of School Zone. And because Nightburn's in the air, School Zone first goes along the road and lifts up, goes... Whoosh, whoosh, diagonally upward towards Nightburn. Literally what Optimus Prime does in the movie. Yep. <laughs> oh yep. God. All right, well, let's see what you got. Oh, my hey. lord. Oh, my oh, god. And it's a crit, and you double the defense. That is a 28-8. That, that is a 28-8. That is a 28-8. These could not be the more. This is the what is most their defense? critical. What is their defense? Their defense in this case is a 16, so technically you did oh, double it. Oh, only double, only double. Only eight damage. Which is still enough <laughs> that uh, you send Nightburn cratering to the ground he hits the side of the uh the bridge and then falls to the colorado river below and you just hear a big sploosh as he is swept away to other places GM, yes GM, if i may we we cut to nightburn coming online going oh out to the field finding love Oh my god. It's the same thing. It's actually the same. It's the same bot too. Nightburn. No, it's the same bot too. Oh, it's the same boss. It's, 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 we find out it's an implanted memory. 
<laughs> or Ooh, or, or cool what we're doing is uh, we're doing the classic reusing assets. So we're just reusing scenes for like a clip show. And that's how we're justifying it. Is we're just, we got to pad that airtime. We got to pad that airtime. <laughs> All right. And then stop sign will pop out, hit rage button, then refuse. Here we go. Time to stop your life. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Boss, there's a thing flying at me. Well, then hit it, Mimsy. Uh, my name is Rage. That should be enough for the to avoid it. To avoid it, yes. Yeah, not Damn enough. It. So I think so what Rageburn refuse. is going to do is Rageburn just kind of just swoop out of the way, and uh, you're well, done avoiding that Rageburn. That would have been lethal for Rageburn. Oh yeah. But yeah, uh, anything else on School Zone's turn? If you wish to surrender, surrender now. Hmm. You got intimidation? I have persuasion. I think mm. it would be a good idea, considering what happened. Roll me a persuasion. I am willing to let you off. Roll me a All right, so I'm, since I'm larger, I get, I believe, an edge on that. Let me just make certain. I'm going to say double check. Because monoliths have larger than life. Let me just double check. True. Or Lord and in charge, rather. And let me see. All right, perfect. Choose a social skill. Yes, I get plus one upshift, not a... How do I say this? Not an edge. Not a yeah. edge, but an upshift. I'll take that. Okay, 18. with an 18. So, uh, I think Rageburn and Grimburner are going to look at where Nightburn was, and they are very very quickly going to turn on their tail and fly the hell away. Um, if... Wait a moment. You can, you can retrieve your friend's corpse. I will allow it. If there's anything left of them. Ha, 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 ha. I guess my only question then, because they have, once they fully go, they're going to go. Um, oh, wow. Code nice. zone and danger zone. Do either of you want to shoot at them as they're leaving? No, why would we? What are we? Messed up nightmare? Well... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, we were yeah. p potentially we weren't, weren't the we weren't we weren't ordered I, to murder them. We were just ordered to see. Oh my god, that! Oh my god, Schooly, that guy's in the meth river. That he he's like hit by fifty hypodermic needles. I know we're immune to that stuff, but like it's still gross. No, are we cat. in Florida? No, it's the it's the Colorado River. No. There's a lot of dangerous needles. I don't know shit about the United States, okay? I'm committing, okay? I think every every river in the United States is full of meth needles to me. Uh, I will shoot at one of them, the one I shot at earlier. All right, oh, really? All right fair really? enough. Make your roll. Make your roll. Oh let's let's see God. what happens. He's just going to do it anyway. I that look over. Hit him. I look I look at him. Let's check if it's a crit. It, a it is a crit. Dead. So <laughs> we see Rageburn flying away, and Rageburn gets another shot right between the wings, and he goes flaming fireball also down into the Colorado River. Oh my god. Danger. Robert, you ask why? No, chill. I'm sorry. I, I like settling things peacefully, you know, taking out pieces of my enemies at a time. That makes perfect sense. Thank you for your explanation. <sighs> And at this point, Cone Zone, since you are converted, uh, the humans are trying to look and go, Mommy, Mommy, what is that? Is that a giant robot? Uh, uh, yes, little uh, Timmy, that does appear to be a giant <laughs> robot that uh, <laughs> shouldn't exist on Earth. <laughs> and, and we'll say that the uh, little Timmy and his mother are actually uh, trapped underneath the uh, sea here. So they're currently trapped underneath the uh, fallen trailer. I, I think we just save everyone. We we're already. I, the, the cat's we out of the I have I have ladders. I have all sorts hey, of stuff it, that can it. definitely help this situation. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. I have a ton of holograms that can save. I'll also explain. People. Don't worry about the rocket bus. That's not real. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how. That. It, look, look, look! People race rocket cars in the salt flats, right? It's just like that. Don't worry about it. We mm. we could go with it's just the magic school bus. They're filming magic school bus here. <laughs> so here's my question for you, Cone Zone, since you are taking sort of the uh, rescuing Boys. duties. Um, yeah. How are you actually going to get the humans to go with you? Because it's a funny caveat of the rules, and personally, if it were me, I wouldn't do it. But since it's in the module. Um, yep. The module does make it clear that since you are auto robots in the skies, the humans are supposed to be wary of you. 
Um, and it calls for a skill test, but I'm content to just do it in role play fashion. Um, sure. You just um, got to tell me you you know, what you're doing. holograms all the time. Uh, we, we got holograms. I can have six of them in my robot form. It's really sick. Every For every crew member, you're allowed to have another hologram. So, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and it did. I did read up on this. This is why exactly why I have pop culture so that mm-hmm. I know not to make President Obama just show up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, you know, President Obama in the back of an ice cream. Hey, truck, it's totally Obama. Obama, Obama, Obama. Obama here. Michelle? Save me. Whoa, 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 Michelle, whoa, whoa. Get, get two scoops of ice cream right there. <laughs> two scoops uh, with my with my help over here. Uh, grab this ladder here, kids. You <laughs> mean the chaos emeralds? <laughs> There's a crossover. <laughs> All right. So um, if you're going to use your hollows to uh, bring them in, um, yeah. are you going to be directing them in just to get into you and you'll take them to safety? Are you actually talking with them? You know, what what's what's the flavor here? Um, I think that we just want to make sure that they get out of there just to be like, just like, OK, t- stay safe now. Uh, go to that. Uh, go to that policeman. Is there any like emergency crew on scenes like s- you no, know, you were the first happening. ones, and uh, I think what's going to happen is one of the uh, the women, uh, probably about early 20s, as she's kind of holding her arm and she gets into the back of your uh, ice cream truck, she says, man, uh, glad you had this uh, extra room in here. Guess sales have been pretty bad, huh? Aha! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sheesh, these no sales. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> So, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, all, I, I, all the workers are zoomers. I, 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 uh, I don't know if you've got like a radio in this thing or anything, but, uh, that, uh, that jet thing just, uh, I mean, it, it flew off towards Sherman Dam and, uh, AK out of character, Hoover Dam. Uh, it just flew to Sherman Dam and, uh, that's, that's where my mom works. Uh, you, can we go check on my mom? Can we, can we, can you get in contact with my mom maybe? Well, while this is happening, could Danger Zone be following after the other one and trying to shoot him down too? Uh, I have oh yes, we'll what? handle that in a moment. We'll handle that in a moment. I have what 600 feet wrong? range. You're a murderer! What the fuck? Leave him alone, man! They, we won! Um, <laughs> we don't win why, until we Why don't you just call your parents on your... Why don't you just try and call, you, call her on your phone? Well, I mean, I tried, and she shows your hologram her phone, and you see that it's not getting any signal. And in fact, if you were to try and calm on a quote unquote normal human frequency, it wouldn't work. But your Cybertronian Ooh, frequencies work jumped. just fine. Huh. That is weird. Well, what do you I think, Jeffrey? Going- my hologram of not Fred from Scooby Doo will say to Jeffrey a, a picture of a normal Zoomer man. So you know, roll, raggy. blue blue roll, hair, roll, <laughs> half half haircut, um, hipster glasses, bow tie, mm-hmm. mm. with an ascot too. That's just because why not? With six blue. ascots. Um, <laughs> it's the dress code. It's everyone's wearing it. Uh, don't. Be, it's not weird. It's it's our it's our it's our you know uh, ice cream truck pride. Don't why don't knock it. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's let me let's think of this for for a second. Well, our our Cybertronian stuff is working. Their stuff isn't, and it's just not going through. Like they have no reception here. Correct. Or is it that they do they have reception, but it just the call won't connect. Um. No, no signal. Absolutely. School no zone signal. does a school zone sends you a private. How do I say this? Transmission goes. Why don't you ask Bumblebee to take care of it? Uh, well, we need the cops here so that these guys can get their their parents and whatnot going on. I'm not going to bring some random. We're, human we're going in that direction anyway. Adventure? We we should we definitely should not bring them with us. They're going to turn into ground me. This is, this is... We can't we can't bring them. Like, we can't we can't. And to give you a little bit of impetus, you all do hear an explosion. And I actually double checked. So the dam is actually to the east on this map. So oh. you can look down the bridge to the Let's east. Look. And you see that a giant chunk of the dam has been blasted out and a torrent of water is streaming through it. And if you look really, really carefully, you can see a single fighter. Oh, one you would recognize. Here he is. (laughs) Here is Starscream, the one and only, making energon cubes. Making energon cubes from the roaring water. 
Uh-huh. And I think the uh, the woman in question who's been talking to you goes, oh, man, man, uh, I, I if my mom's there and she's there, I mean, we can maybe we can turn off the water and do the emergency shut off valves. But I mean, if we don't do something soon there, the, the whole dam's going to come down and I, that I don't need to tell you how bad that would be. Well, I think that we should. Right. You don't. But do first. anyway. I'm going tell to us. Interfere. Tell me how bad. Tell all of us, all six of us, how bad your that would be right now. That sounds bad. Well, it sure well, does, Jeffrey. First off, if we don't leave here right now, I assume the water is going to destroy this bridge and kill everyone on it. So we should probably take these people and leave. God. Start grab more people. Grab more people. Uh-huh. Grab right. more people. Grab more people. So... Grab more people. Let's bail. Let's bail. Yeah, as I say, as you guys bail, I'm going to put us on our final map for the evening. All right, here we go. Here we go. Final boss. Let's do this. Let's die. What yes. about my victim? I I'm mean... getting to that. So <laughs> okay. it's one of those things where Grimburner, the only one remaining, is going to transform uh, halfway as he lands on the chunk that's been blasted out of the bridge. Ooh, and he is his legs. He is going master. to try and uh, take a shot at you. It's going to probably miss because he's at a snag and he only has so much stats. Um, but you never know. Maybe he'll roll two twenties. You should you go for the know. three damage one. She is no one if you fire back. You uh, just you try to guarantee the kill. Actually, let me think. I technically have story points, so do I want to be mean with my story points? Is the oh, question. Just go for it. We we, go we have gone so far without any struggle. You might as well go for it. All right. In that case, I am going to spend some story points here, and uh, I am going to give him access to his own sniper rifle. So. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I gotta use story points on, on either him or, or Starscream. You want no, 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 yeah, yeah. Give it to, give it all to him. This no, no, I give him Grimburner for certain. Yeah, yeah. Grimburner's the best. All right, <laughs> Grim so... Uh, Hero Burner. <laughs> give him an Energon shield, too, or some... I don't know. Hey. Oh, my God, and he still <laughs> rolls a four. He Ooh. rolls a four. Oh, my God, does oh, his gun explode in his hands? It doesn't no, no, explode no, in his fun. hands, but it definitely misses terribly. So, yes. All right, dude, uh, this one's all you. Danger Zone, you do get a shot before we do enter into pure initiative order here. And I'm going to aim with three actions. Mm-hmm. And... Do... Going for the three shots? 19 nice. will hit. No, oh, wait, was this a three shot? Yep, just a normal one. Oh, just a normal one, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you ding him, loses a health. And yeah, uh, at this point, we are going to enter an initiative order. Oh, no, now, that would be I a crit. Will... That would be a crit, so two health. Is it? Uh, it is. Very yes. nice. So that is indeed two damage. So he goes down to one. And uh, let me point out some features here as you all arrive on the scene. Let me show you its features. Yeah. Gotta love maps like this. Like, I actually really like it when uh, rulebooks give you maps like this because it's very right. easy to point things out to players. So and I think ten, um, 10 feet actually makes sense in this one as opposed yeah. to the last one. This is where the 10 feet comes from. So what you're seeing is uh, these marks over here, these X's, those are uh, basically workers at the dam. Um, oh. they, they might know how to turn the emergency release valves, but you got to obviously talk to them first. Um, in order to get to the release valves, you got to go through one of the buildings, which are all marked B. And they all have to go to C on the map. So that's on the left side. If we look over here on the right, we also have uh, two buildings and a C on the right. In the middle, we have a, a Grim Burner, where he is uh, currently taking sniper pot shots. And then Mr. Starscream himself is currently up in a out. hole in the water, uh, or hole in the dam with the water streaming pass, just making Energon Cube after Energon Cube. And oh, they uh, were let me take a. The wrong oh, there they are. There they are. I see them. Let me uh, let me take a drink of water here as I attempt to do my star scream voice. Hold on. I'll give it your best shots. Um, <clears throat> foolish Autobots, you do not know with whom you are meddling. It is I, Star Scream, commander of the Seekers and rightful lord over the Decepticons. The energon being generated by this collapsing, outdated thing technology is mine, all mine, and you will have none of it. Seekers, destroy. Weren't there three of you? Why are there only one of you? What the hell happened? <laughs> I gave so them mercy, good. and now I will give them death. And yeah, giving them death the whole time, Schooly. There was no mercy. Don't believe him. He's gone rogue. All right. So at this point, we are going to enter into initiative order. Um, oh, let's do it again. I can't wait for Starscream to roll fifty trillion for initiative. 
He, I, I've actually already pre-rolled him, so he actually is an initiative Ooh, nice. order already. So let me see. You killed oh, Grit, Nightburn, so Nightburn is not visible. Grimburner is the only one remaining, so Rageburn is gone. Oh. All right, so, so tell me your guys' initiative two. so I can enter it in here. Nine. Mine is seven. Eleven. Seven, well, not, not seven, nine. not seven. Mine is um six, pardon. Six, okay. Danger zone was an 11. And then what was cone zone? Uh, Mine is uh, nine. Nine, okay. All right, initiative order. So, Starscream is going to continue making Energon cubes. Oh, that okay. is uh, that is his whole turn because he really doesn't even think you're worth his time at the moment. True and real. Mm -hmm. So, Danger Zone, you are up next. Okay, I'm going to do alternate effects, three sharp damage. We still have three edge from chat, right? Nope, you actually don't have I any upshifts from chat at the moment. I used him. Chat hates us. Oh. We're doing too good already. Are I'm you so sure sorry. you don't want to just go for the one shot for the one damage to finish off Grim Birder? Because if we make Starscream engage now, we get we don't get the chance to move. Starscream's ignoring us right now is the thing. Mm. Oh, you yeah, did just get an upshift from chat. Okay, well, I got nice. an upshift now. Uh, so I will then. Well, if if I do this and then have three aims and that upshift, that's that's pretty. That's pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Because I've the thing is, if Starscream shoots shoot us right now, we're we're in real trouble. We don't we're not close enough for me to deal damage. And Grimburner's still there. Yeah, but I, I feel like Grimburner could get killed by Benno. <laughs> no, but no, Benno's I'm not probably gonna kill him. I'm gonna go get the humans to turn off the fucking oh, thing. Oh, don't going to do the objective. I'm literally the G objective guy. I, I have a ladder. Probably... I can get up to those humans, and I have so many. I have so many holograms. They're gonna too, super trust me. You want me to get aggro first from Starscream before you fight? I think. Mm. Because I'm going to drive down the road. Yeah, but I got the range right now. You do, but Tell you, you always the... have the range on future turns as well. <laughs> Starscream's not doing do anything. We'll make it happen. It's up to you, though. If you want to shoot Starscream, it's all you. Yeah, you want to shoot Starscream. I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> I understand. God. <laughs> I've given you a logical reason not to. Now that you've chosen to ignore it, that's perfectly fine. As long <laughs> as you know. <laughs> all right, that is a 27 against whom? Starscream. Star Against okay. the Wait, is, that, is that with downshifts? With, with oh, aim, right. right. No, I forgot to do the aim thing. Let me let me roll, roll that. Sorry, Jim. So wait, wait, wait. So you, so, you, ha you aimed and then you downshift. Downshift aim minus two or minus three? Shift. Minus three. That'll put me back to a D10. All right. So let's go to yes. the D10. Uh, ignoring the you use the upshift, three. right? So we go back to D12. No, that's with the... Uh, the I would have been three D6 right. with the upshift. So that's a 10, so you still would have rolled a 23, it looks like, which is still enough to hit him. So yeah, uh, how much damage is Starscream taking? Uh, three sharp damage. All right, so oh what happens is, is we see the electromagnetic launcher fire off another powerful shot, and Starscream at the last moment goes, What the hell are you doing? Oh my god! And uh, we see him kind of barrel roll, literally barrel roll out of the way, and the shot Wait. does hit him. Does hit nice. him still. But it does reduced damage. It's not as effective. Oh dear. Oh god. So he does, hit, he does he uh, does reduce the damage a little bit, and he turns and says, "I mean, I have no idea who the hell you are, but now you have messed with the true leader of the Decepticons. Face my wrath." And I uh, they took their turn this turn, right? We're good. We're good. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Dangerous. Um, oh shoot. Dangerous just gonna say like, dude, I have no idea what you're saying. You're too far away for me to hear you. And it's no, a lot of loud water. Really. <laughs> There's the loud water's really loud. He's <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. It's like that scene I in uh, was it Shazam where they're just yeah you Shazam. Know. It's like I will rue you will rue the day that you have made that. I literally have no idea. <laughs> what are you saying? All right. Well, Starscream has been aggroed, is what I'll tell you. And oh, since uh, Starscream has so been aggroed, I now get to play the special music. Oh, Actually, you know what? I'm going to save it go. for when School Zone goes. Hold on. So, uh, up next is let me see. So, Grimburner. Grimburner is going to take a shot at Danger Zone with that sniper rifle. I'm going to give him some upshifts here, just 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 to spend my story points. I'm going to give him some upshifts here. So. Please, out, for the love Watch of all that is holy, I please. Uh, does a twenty-two hit you oh, to your evasion? Oh crap! Uh, yes. Is it a crit? Okay. Let's, let's see. Now Ooh, tell me, tell me honestly. Um, is what damage does your sniper rifle do normally? Uh, one sharp. sharp. Okay, so you are gonna take one sharp. 
Okay. And not a crit, so I guess that's all the damage you take. So you go from uh, five to four health, unfortunately. And he's going to go, hey, boss, I got him. I got a shot finally. You are the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Why did I bring you on this mission? Uh, because we were the only ones available, boss. Shut up. It was a rhetorical question. And yeah, uh, I guess now it is uh, Col- Cone Zone's turn. All right. Go Danger, for are you okay? So he's going to blast this next turn. <laughs> <laughs> he's so just bad. happy, my vibe, man. It's okay. He'll when get it soon for, enough. When we roll for initiative, can I have gone into vehicle mode? Yeah. Yes. Okay, 5, you roll 10, 15, 20, 25. No, no, it's 10, it's 10 space squares. Oh, You're going to have to oh, use all of your movements. Oh, God. Okay. F- four, one, two, three, four. What? I you can, can dash. You can dash. All right. One, two, three, four. God damn it. Go. Right. Three oh, good. I will. Yes, I will. My my what's it called? My holograms are coming up. I have a huge uh, ladder that folds out out of my um, out of my lower section um, and we'll we'll lead them up there to the other humans to, to see if we can turn off this dam. Yeah, so the uh, the humans you basically rescue, they were cowering, but when they when you come up to them, they uh, they they're still a little mm-hmm. wary because it's an ice cream truck with a ladder. What the hell's that? But the uh, woman you talked to earlier goes, "Mom, mom, it's okay. These these guys are here to help. I think they're like secret agents or something because they got a really cool ice cream truck, and I got this SpongeBob popsicle thing. Tastes a little <laughs> salty, but I think it's okay." The SpongeBob, the SpongeBob, Bob. <laughs> the Sp- <laughs> but uh, it's SpongeBob McBob. SpongeBob Sponge McBob. There you go. <laughs> um, so another one of the, uh, the dam workers, which is just fun to say the dam workers come the out, damn workers, damn workers. <laughs> damn workers. Uh, one of them comes out and is like, is that you, Cynthia? Is that you? Yeah, mom, it's me. I'm okay. Hi. And, uh, they quickly have, you know, mother, daughter hugging. And then, then uh, the, the daughter goes, all right, mom, like, can, can, can we like, some of you go shut off the valves on this side, and then the the secret agent ice cream truck guys can take us to the other side. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually a really good idea. Um, uh, you, uh, Timothy oh. and uh, Bobby, you go inside. Um, make sure that uh, we get the valves off on this side as soon as possible, and I'll go with my daughter here, and we'll go take care of the uh, the right side of the dam. Uh, Jeffrey and Frank both nod, and then they uh, hit the dab. <laughs> Because why not? And hit the wall afterwards. Four rounds to get there. Four rounds. Not too bad. <laughs> Jim, I'd like to use a start point to actually name uh, Timothy to uh, uh, Jay Timothy. and uh, have Silent Bob. I'm missing the reference. Well, Ever seen it's... Clerks? Oh. But, but why uh, here? But why, why here? here? <laughs> They're neither of them are dam workers. Why do you? Why? Why would you want them here? This is why they go back to the. This is why they go find another job. This is the worst. Ju- what? What? The- you got it, man. All right, they're here, man. <laughs> I guess it's here. You exactly. lose the point, man. Use the point, dude. He used it. It's all. It's too late. It's Jay good. and Silent Bob from movies show up, and they're here now. Oh, you still got two to use, so you're good. But yeah, um, what I'm going to tell you, actually, Cone Zone, is I'm actually, since you are doing the objective, I'm actually going to give you double movement here at the cost of doing driving checks. No, we're going to die. But yeah. School zone. They're going to fly over, right? Sorry, hold on. Yeah, school zone. We now come to you. All right, I can't do anything right now yet, unfortunately. My speed is only limited. Wait, before that, can the mom drive? Can yeah. Cynthia drive? If, uh, if you uh, want to have the driver hologram step out and let her drive. Yeah, he's just... Um, I'm going to make it look like bef- when when they were doing the bridge, it's just like, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't do... <laughs> Boys, our, 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 well, we work, we work in a little secret place, but I, take the wheel for right now. We got to get these, we this going. I got to go and help in the back. And a lot of them are just shuffling around looking for certain things for it here. Like they're, they're setting up a bunch of stuff and they're, it's a bunch of busy work, but it looks like really secretive and crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to accelerate towards. Start if you, if you know where it is, you drive there right now. I, take the wheel. So to tell you and what that would you mean, Benno, is I'm going to have her roll a D20 plus four, a D4. Yeah. So if you have anything bigger than a D4. 
I don't. I have okay. zero drive. I have nothing in drive. I have nothing. All right. Then in that case, we come to the top of turn two when Starscream gets to go. And Starscream is not a happy camper. And he knows when to use his words, quote unquote. And what I mean Ooh. by that is his missile pods are going to open up and he's going to fire at Danger Zone because Danger Zone to him is the biggest threat at the moment. <laughs> so he doesn't, know. he doesn't have the relevant information. Uh, let's see. So he's unaware. What an idiot! The missile rack <laughs> does a D8. All right, so he's going to do a D8. And to be fair, that's correct because School Zone is so far away still. Yeah, so uh, 21, uh, I believe that does beat your... Uh, oh, and it's a crit. Oh, no. Uh, so, uh, snag at all? A snag? Yeah. No, Distance? no snag, unfortunately. So... Oh, really on the range? What's yeah. the damage on this? Here's the thing. The missiles by themselves oh, do 500. two fire. Two fire. He got oh. a crit, which means the damage has become four. Now, oh, well, I'm unconscious. Yeah, I was going to say, you are reduced <laughs> to zero. However, if we quickly go back to the reference sheet. E energon points, energon points. You can use energon points to stay it's up big. for another. I'm just going to max this. You can stay up for another two rounds. No, we should, we should roll it. We should roll it. Because every, every, round, of, every round of danger zone counts here. This because is true. This is true. You know, this, 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 this could really matter. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll the D2. It's a slash roll 1d2. And that's how many energy points do you have? You only have one? Danger two. zone? You have two? Yep. Oh, nice. That means you can do this twice. Yep. So try again next turn. Spend another energy point next turn. Yeah. So you're staying up. You're just at zero at or the one moment. turn. So. <laughs> now, how that happens in roleplay is I just imagine just missiles just freak out and slam into danger zone and danger zone nearly craters into the flowing water but you like stop at the last second and catch yourself Ooh, nice but yeah uh that is going to be star screams turn which means oh next is God, danger zone instantly took you out yeah that's Good rough Lord. we hate to see it holy mm. holy smokes danger you're up buddy uh well I'm gonna aim at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You're uh, really just going to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna we're gonna You're, send gonna leave. You're going to leave Grim Burner that's fine, I guess. <laughs> that's <Go> okay. <laughs> Look, if any you of you are going to give him up shifts, give him up shifts now, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do have one upshift at the moment from chat, so use it. Oh, didn't they use that last turn? Uh, they, no, they, no they uh, that? I still have it marked. Yeah, because I've been marking them off as uh, as they've been here, used. Here, you here. still got one. All right. So that puts me at 3d6, and then I'm going to do the effect of 3. Okay. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm, I am going to take out Grimburner. I'm just going to, you know what? He taunted. Uh, he so did. He, he did call you. He, he did say that you were a pee pee boy. Yeah, yeah. Pee pee poo poo. So, my, so we're, just gonna, we're just going to do a 3 aim and uh, no, uh, the original effect of 1d sharp. Uh, 1 sharp Missile damage. Missile rack hurt, sharp. though. Okay. 4 damage. I believe it's probably one of their weaker weapons too. It might just be uh, long range. Let me check. I think that's enough. Yes, a fourteen is enough. That yes, you. Where do you want to? Where do you want to put a hole through Grim Burner? Where, where where do you want the hole to be? I bet he turned around to like celebrate to Star Scream that he shot him, and uh, it's just back of the head through the mouth. <laughs> nice, really grim. I love it. All right. So oh at the God. moment, the only <laughs> actor besides you all is Star Scream and Cone Zone. Uh, oh, I'm gonna let I'm you moving. do the role. I'm going to move, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, you might want to move. Um, I'm going to move 60 behind something. What's, okay. So what is what is your movement? 60 uh, as yet. Oh, you, you, you. I see, I see. Yeah. Now, I would well, say really that... Uh, if you take more damage at zero, you're not dead, right? You don't take anything else, do you? Yeah, it's it's one of those things where technically you can't be reduced below zero, but if you take another shot, you are reduced back down see, to unconsciousness. I see. So... I see, I see. I think you have That's to spend the other energon point now and then roll the D2, I think. Okay. And so. this might this might be egregious. It might be an only a one-time spend, but uh, we're just going to oh, keep no, no. it here. It, it's, it's correct. Okay. It's correct. Yeah, so two you have rounds. another two rounds two after this nice. one. Yeah, two rounds after this one. All right, so Cone Zone, uh, since you are being driven by someone, I'm going to let you do the roll. Again, okay. it is a D4, if I remember what I said correctly. 
got, you got the touch. She's a human. Mm -hmm. Can I aid? You can. Well, you're not trained in driving, are you? I, say, yeah, I you can't gotta... aid. I can't aid. Shut up myself. I can't do anything. <laughs> Why did I not take driving? I am so dumb. <laughs> you have to dash, though. You have to dash. So just, yeah. just count the G4 and then dash. Okay. In 18, 18 is maybe. sufficient. So what is four times your movement? Uh, that would, well, it's, uh, 45, so... So what is that? That is, uh, 180? 180, yeah. 180. So you can get... No, 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 you, you... you get all the way to there, what you, I think. What you want to do, what you want to do, Cone Zone, you want to go up the road, you want to fly over to the island, then you want to hop over the islands again. <laughs> uh, going around is way too long. That's true. You know what? This lady does th does know that I'm a I'm a, I'm a magic truck. She's like, they're these secret agents. <laughs> yeah, mom, mom. They, right, they, little, this this ice cream right, truck can fly. It's really weird. You push that blue button over there, and and it just sort of maglevs off the ground. Honey, I don't know how to tell you this, but after this, we're gonna have some major questions for the U.S. government that they've had this technology all this time and sort of been keeping it to themselves. I have many questions. But you know, don't what? worry, ma'am. You'll get neuralized before all this. You won't even remember a damn thing. <laughs> Sector 7 takes things very seriously. Wait, if I'm not going to remember a damn thing, how am I going to know to take care of the damn? Right. Neuralize you after. It's after, Good it's thinking, after ma'am. You're after hired. This. Congratulations. Welcome to Sector 7. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, doing the math yeah, here, you could, it? 180 feet, you could either get all the way up to the dam itself, or you basically can get to that island in the middle. Do you think I should... The island's way faster. <laughs> And if you want to stay hovering over the water, I believe you have... I can, it's just for free. I do have hovering. Yeah, then you can get to about there on the mark, Ooh. where you're not quite to the other side, but you're in the water, or over the water gotcha. at the moment. All right, God, I school sure zone. Hope he doesn't. It is... I hope he doesn't. Oh, my... oh it's school? So I, I, I'm not commenting on the drive, because how do I say it? doesn't really matter that much. Right. Because as long as Cone Zone is not being shot at by Starscream, it doesn't really matter that much. Right. So I am just going to go as always. It's 130 feet. So let's go. Can I reach you? Uh, uh, I tell you what, far. if you if you give me your driving check, which I don't even no, know. No, no, this is you. combat. This is combat. This uh, this actually matters, unfortunately. All right. <laughs> I, I, I look. I'm an optimizer, but it's only fun to optimize if you follow the rules. If you get me. Fair, fair. I appreciate that. Go here first, 90. Okay. Well, you could hover too, right? No, no, no. So I'm not going to reveal to Starscream that I can fly. Starscream did not know yet. Yeah, for the moment, Starscream <laughs> just thinks you're a bus. He doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. He, they think I'm just driving, yes. That's the intent. That's the idea. <laughs> Again, he's, he's not aware. <laughs> he's unaware. We'll, we'll, we'll get over here. I can do it next turn. All right. I sure All right. hope that Starscream doesn't try to shoot me out of the... Into the well, ocean. <laughs> here's the thing. He sees you hovering, and he knows ice cream trucks don't do that. So... He doesn't know what ice cream is. <laughs> I mean, that also is fair. Let me ask this. Would you rather be shot by an electronic pulse gun, or would you like to take a um, bunch of missiles to the face, potentially? Give me the missiles, man. Give Just you the missiles. Me, All righty. We're rolling a, uh, what is this, a D8? What's it got? A 23. A crit. What's the defense? Not a crit. Not a oh, crit. Oh, it's not a crit. Uh, thank God. Uh, the twenty-three is against your either evasion or toughness. It just depends how you want to take it. You got it. I think I'll tell you that it doesn't matter because I am re absolutely immune to fire damage. Oh. Yes. So how'd you get that? Uh, it is part of the support build. Armor upgrade goes to limited, which means I took an armor upgrade of limited, which I was allowed to go and take. Energy mm -hmm. resistor is the very first thing. I chose fire because ice ice makes you immune to fire because I'm a stupid idiot. I'm like, oh, but, but ice makes you immune to fire, right? <laughs> it's so, so good when your random character build actually, actually does something. It's almost like right? the GM looked at the character sheets and built the encounter around them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you get hit by the missiles cone zone, and everybody's like, oh no, the kids and the mother! And then you come out the other side of the explosion, and they're like, hey, we're fine, everybody's fine. And Starscream just looks at you and goes, what the hell? Your ice cream truck's freaking immune to missiles! 
uh, all all six of my holograms are are just dabbing everywhere. <laughs> And I think he is going to float a little bit closer because he's almost a little starstruck. And he's like, what the hell? What is happening? This is never fine. happened. I could, I could have reached Starscream anyway, but thank you for moving in a way that yeah. I can reach easily. <laughs> so uh, it's now Danger Zone's turn. Danger Zone, it uh, go, go, now go, falls go, to go. you. Take him out. Well, Shoot I'm going to peek around to cover. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I am going to take aim three times. Okay. And right, then I'm go going to do effect of um, three sh- sharp damage. Three sharp, okay. Ooh. Okay, one, eight. 23, which, believe it or not, still beats his evasion. So again, you hit him. It doesn't do the full damage because, he, again, he rolls out of the way. He can just do that as a free action. Um, wow. But you do hit him again. He says, I thought I got rid of you. Do I need to come back there? You do have oh, a big you, hole what? in your chest. I can't. What? <laughs> what? What? And I'm just going to move back behind the cover. Nice. <laughs> All right. Can well, I repair myself? It's, uh, it's now Cone Zone's turn. And uh, Cone Zone, uh, do you just want a normal move and get them to be, or do you want to do anything special? Let's, let's normal move and get them to be. Okay, oh, so man. mom and daughter go running inside B, and they're going to start shutting off the, uh, or start engaging the emergency release valves on the right side. The left side, if you look at the dam, you see that some of the slots, like over school zone, there's a stream of water coming from the emergency vents uh, on the left side. And school zone, we all know what you're going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and engage the dramatic music and uh, go ahead and make your roll as you slam into them. Rocket! Boosters! Let's go. The rocket boosters engage as always. And School Zone says, I had to drive for a good 10 seconds to reach here. Why would you do this? Now you will die for your sins. Acceleration! Let's go! Bam! 25! Is it a crit? It's a crit! Let's go! It is a crit, I can confirm. So, how much damage is that already? That's just, that's only four damage, assuming it does not double. It does not, All because right, I think Starscream has a ton of defense. Yeah, he does. So, I he takes the I would probably need hit. like a 34 or something to actually do anything. Yeah, so he takes it, he goes, what the hell, what? Ah! And he gets hit, and there's like a guac sound as he's like struck midair by a school bus. And then, uh, your minicon. What's your minicon guy? Top sign. Top him up. <laughs> my chance! <laughs> Not gonna do anything, unfortunately. Not gonna do anything. I'll, I'll try again next time. I'll try again next time. All right. So, uh, top of the initiative order, Starscream is like gonna float a little bit away from you as you're still hovering midair, and he goes, "Oh no, they're <laughs> done. They're done now. They're done. They're, huh. I'm already in their dog range. They would have to move really fast. They can though. I know they yeah, can. Yeah, I was gonna probably. say. Uh, is this Cybertronic Spring? No, this is uh, Lord of Trident's cover, uh, and they did give me permission, which is why I'm able to play. All it. right, let's see what you've got. Let's see what you've got. Starscream. All right, so Starscream, he produces a focused Energon blade from <laughs> his fist, and he says, <laughs> "All right, you want to play? We'll play." And uh, nice play. he's. He is going to uh, attempt to... I am level to... one, by the way. <laughs> he, he is going to attempt to strike you. So let's see. He has that on this. He has an upshift. And what's he got? Uh, that oh, is an 18. And not a crit. Me. So you are going to take a grand total of two damage. Oh, it hurts. The grand scheme of oh, things doesn't hurts. do much. Oh, it, it does hurt, though. It does hurt. It does hurt, yeah. All right, that's our scream. Uh, Danger zone. What do you want to do? Poke back around. <laughs> Aim three times. You're going to pass out after this, though. Yeah, I was yep. say, this you're is your last sleep. one before you're out. Your final shots. All right, hold oh. on. Remember, remember, oh, wait, you can have a story, story point a story that point. can re-roll that one. That D21. Let's go that one. run. Use it. You need it. It'll Use be a crit it. if it hits. <laughs> nice. Is that good nice. enough? So 19. a 20, believe it or not, is not enough to hit. But you have to be smoking me. But hold yep. on. You also have uh where is it? Is it an energon point or is it a story <laughs> point? Let me look. 
Uh, where is this? Do you have specialization? Did you roll specialization or no? I do have specialization. They did. They did roll specialization. Okay, you did. All right, so that's not what that is. And then... Would an upshift give you anything important? Because you could use your last Energon point. No, they already used this. Oh, they right, you already used it. So, yeah, I think, unfortunately, yeah, yeah what's going to happen is you're going to take your final shot, miss, and uh, you go unconscious, unfortunately. Sadness. Yeah. Why did you allow us to engage Starscream before shooting him? I know why. <laughs> it's in your nature. You enjoy all the killing, don't you? All right, well, Cone Zone, before uh, School Zone does his work, you have a shot here. Okay. If I can give him the old rocky don't road. You, don't forget you can move then, too. Oh yes, right. One, two, three, four. Uh, and is this within 100 feet? Where's the ruler? Oh, there I see it. Yeah, he's within 100. 100. Like you are oh, at yeah, they're, they're just within, uh, literally just within, within range. range, yeah. Okay. How do I delete, please? Please? Okay, there you go. All right. I will shoot him with my big D rifle. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Oh my God! No, actually, I'm I, I'm so bad at it. I'm targeting. It's it's a targeting shot, isn't it? Oh my! I'm so bad. <laughs> there's no way I can hit him. Actually, there's no way I can hit him. There's <laughs> no way I can hit him. Hold on, again. I you have. Can't. Uh, let me look at your stats. So. Oh, I'm looking at danger zone. Let me look at cone zone. Oh, go for uh, it. Go for it. I, I have a D2. <laughs> there's no way. No, no, it's possible. It's possible. You have to roll you a would, 20. You have to roll a 20. You would have to roll a legit 20. And, well, remember, you can upshift. Remember, you've got energy jump points. You can up, upshift Oh, I'm here. aiming. I, I'm and aiming. You're aiming, you're aiming, you're aiming for three upshifts, so that gets you to a times. D8. Oh, look, there someone's even using an upshift for you. Feel free to take that. I won't use it. Oh, nice. I'm taking yeah. it. That's a D10. All right, so that'll get you to a D10. And then you right, can spend energy jump points to go even further beyond. I'm going to show you my final form next turn, by the way. I have not used the maximum outputs. Yes. <laughs> this is the last turn. Like, we have no chance here at this point, so I might as well use... Uh, can I use... Go how many energon points can I use in a turn? As many as you want. Hey. All right. Go for the I super have three, shot. right? How many... Wait, how many do I have? How do you know? Uh, it's, it's your lowest essence score. score. Oh. My lowest score is... Is it a two? Uh, is it a three? Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 looks like a three. So you have three points bad. to spend. So you you're already at a D10. You, you could go up to 3D6. 3D6. Mm -hmm. All right, let's. No, do you it. use this upshift over here, right? No, it's already up there. It's already. Passed. I already did. Yeah, we're already accounting for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, 3D6. 3D6 I'll point my. Do your best. I'll, I'll, I will point my rifle at him. SpongeBob will. Yeah, and release the Rocky Road. <laughs> here we go. Take some cold. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I believe. Ice I to believe mute you. <laughs> that is oh, enough. Yes. Oh, baby. That is enough. Wait, wait. That's a, it's, a, it's only plus three d six. It's not a specialization. That's right. Yeah, it's not a specialization. Yeah. So yeah. How much damage is Star Scream taking? Uh, one cold damage. I think is the max I can do with them. Yep. Right. One cold damage. Uh, which means that yeah. Uh, so whatever cold damage does to him, it does. That's a uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it does a special thing, doesn't it? Let's double check. It, it, it might. Just, there's a yeah, special effect when you crit. One stun? I believe. Hey, question well, for you, check. GM. Yeah, what's up? Regenerate energon point by siphoning from an existing source of raw energon at a rate of one energon point per free action. Do you want to eat the burger? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's my, you... <laughs> that's my final life before I pass out. I'm like, I'm gonna have myself my burger now. All right, I'll let you stay up another round. I'll let you, I'll yeah. let it happen. Red roll for us. Yeah, go ahead and roll your D two. Let's see how many rounds you get from your Energon Burger. All <laughs> right, so you get to stay up one more round. Very nice. Go oh, one more shot. Let's do it. That'll All be right. useful. That'll be useful. So um, I did look up the uh, damage type. Cold uh, stun one is an alternate weapon effect. Yes. Um, so let me ask this, Benno, because this is your call. Do you want to have it be stun instead of cold? That will uh, that will stop him so that yeah, that uh, our boy here he can't do anything in his turn, right? 
He can't. He can't I think like, his move. movement, right? Yeah, I believe his uh, his movement is uh, hampered here. But let me just double check. Please, please. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stun him. All right. I'll, I don't even need to think about it. I don't even need to think about it. Let's see. Where is the roll? Not what I wanted. Equipment properties. 117. Again, if anybody finds the page before I do, please do let me know. Stun. How much do you do? Don't care about element. I care about stun. Here we go. Successful hitting with a stun weapon means the target is denied a move action for the listed number of turns, which means he cannot move for his turn, and he heals Die. one stun, one st one stun per turn. And okay, so he actually can't move. He cannot can't escape. Can't move. Nice, nice. It's perfect. I needed that. He he cannot move. He can't move. He can't move. All right. So you spray him with Rocky Road, and Star Scream goes. What? What is this? Is this ice cream? I scream, you scream, we all scream. That's my There's name, I'm Starscream, of course I scream. <laughs> you will ruin what? the day. I am I the rightful leader I... of the Decepticon. Is that a bus? Oh, the bus is saying? back. What, what is he saying? All right, prepare for the ultimate output of School okay. Zone because I have not used it yet, not even once. Here we go. First off, I use my move action to mass shift. Which gives me another upshift to driving permanently for the rest of this scene. Oh. <laughs> so the bus turns crimson red and it just becomes covered in caution tape and stop signs. It goes. <laughs> Prepare to be exterminated, 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 exterminated. So I first I use I use two of my free actions to move. To mm -hmm. move back. And then but I move forward the again. Mm -hmm. To ram, yes, to ram. BAM! That's hilarious. Now I can roll with my full power, 3d6 with edge. Bam! That is, oh that is a crit as God. well. Oh. I don't believe it's double their defense though. I think that their defense is just high enough to not get doubled here. Yeah, so yeah. what is that, four damage outright? It's four damage, it's four damage. All right, so that's four. All right, what the? Uh... Stop sign, what do you got? I and believe. Fall off. Let's go! I believe, little buddy. I believe. You got it. Hit they can do it eventually. That Ooh. is just enough to hit. Two damage. Bam. Actually, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, he is using his evasion skill. Not enough to hit him. Unfortunately, you are one <laughs> off. One we got off. another story point, don't we? We got another story point. Can we can we upshift this to make it a bigger thing? You no, no, no. It's not worth it on stop sign. It's not worth it on stop yeah, sign. Yeah, I was say on the ram it would have been worth it, but not on stop sign. Rip. All right. Refuse. Well, refuse. So Starscream no. cannot move because at this point he's at the health value where he would just get the hell out of dodge, but he can't move. So I think he is you just going start to start screaming. He's going to start, yeah, literally <laughs> screaming. And I think he is going to multi attack uh, school, zo or school zone with his energy blade. But this is the maximum amount of my build. I don't even need to spend actions to aim. I can use all of my actions on moving because I have permanent 3d6 to all of my attacks and edge. My god. All right, well, the 10's not going to hit you. I know that much. <laughs> and then uh, the 21 oh, I know will hit, hit you. Hit. So that's going to be, let me check for crit. That is, nope, not a crit. That is just going to be two more fire damage. I'll take it. All right, so Starscream <laughs> is, of course, going to scream incoherently. And uh, Danger Zone, you are up for the one last round. <gasps> Let's, Let's go. Go. Can you finish it off? I lean over and I aim three times. First at his head, <laughs> one between the legs and then one at the chest. Then I just go back with his head. <laughs> okay. Let's see if you can do it, though. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do the three effect. So I'm mm -hmm. three reduced down. Oh, do you have any uh, upshifts from chat? No, they're on cooldown, unfortunately. <laughs> but by my reckoning, you still it. do have a story point. Oh, no, it's only energon points that upshift. No, no, no. Mind. Uh, let's see. They can't move that far. They need your help. Danger Zone needs your help to hit Starscream. <laughs> Give over your upshifts right now. <laughs> Give up your upshifts to see da uh, Danger Zone shoot start screaming the nuts. But you better you hurry see or where Danger Zone bolts are. Gonna make it. <laughs> Quick, uh, well. Click on Star Scream right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 
That's not Arnie sweet. is unfortunately but... not enough. You were close. That's a shame. You were very close. But you need. I mean, at this point, you know, the number to beat is twenty-two. I, 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 yeah. I feel confident. I, I, you we, I think we're all figuring that. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, unfortunately, nothing there unless you got a way to get two more points. Oh, There's no way. Man, gain temporary access to a minor piece of equipment or tool. I, I don't know how that's going to help. There's yeah, nothing, nothing you can do there. there. It's, you get to go out of resources. Uh. Hmm. Well, I think that's it for me then. I'm back out. <laughs> okay. All right. Cone Zone, what do you got? What have you got, Cone Zone? Did I lose Benno? I'm right here, buddy. Yeah, it's your turn. <sighs> we, gotta, we gotta keep this guy here. He might run away, dude. He's gonna run. He's gonna run, dude. <laughs> Almost like you need to stun him again. Oh, there's, you needed so much to do that, though. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, you but I can, I still can, I can, still can triple. I still can triple. I can get up to the D8. Maybe we can, you need the juice. Maybe we you can need make the juice. this work. Maybe we can make this you work. You can get up to the D8, really? Did you use all of your energon points? Uh, I did. I did, yeah. But the thing is, though, the energon points weren't what we got me to the D8. That got so me to 36. You have triple aim. You have triple aim, which triple brings aim. you from 1D2, right? Yeah, 1D2, 1D4, 1D6, 1D8. Yes. We do one D eight. Then what from there? We can just pray, pray to God, pray to God that he gets the sun zone. Okay. <laughs> well, Here give we it go, your boys. Best shot. <laughs> no. Seventeen no. is not enough, unfortunately. No. All right, we have one more shot no. at this. We have one more shot at this. Let's do All it. Right, school zone. Oh. Make Final it happen, buddy. drive. <laughs> Forward, back. Let's do it. Oh! That is a 30. That is a crit. Oh, so that is four my. Damage. More damage. They're not that dead is... yet. They're not dead yet. They're not. There's no way. This guy's insane. How many at the hit? How much HP does he have? How much HP does he have? How many at the hit or, we, or they're, they're leaving? Stop at the hit or they're leaving. All right. Let's go. Final hit. I'll let you see us no! out. Oh! 14 no! is not enough. So... All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. No! So. He technically does not leave until he Ooh. gets three but he Wait, does have bad for them he does have a special ability which which is let's see it. he is at five at lower health so he's gonna spend his standard action he's still gonna move away because he still hasn't figured out that he of needs course, to move the hell away well i guess he was stunned he couldn't move so he's gonna yes. move uh let me see well, leave through the dam right that's probably the best way right right so he's gonna start <laughs> moving up uh, towards the hull uh, and trying to grab an energy cube on the way and he's going to say all right all right I leave I leave and you don't even have to mess with me ever again I I mean I'm gonna take down Megatron you you want that too right you want me to kill Megatron level I can do that by, level one BT dubs <laughs> and uh, what I'm gonna tell you this means is the only do? way for you to actually hit star scream now doesn't matter who you are you need to pass a difficulty 20 alertness skill test oh, in no order to chance. do it. There's zero chance. We're, they're, they're leaving. They're leaving. Just, just yeah, get I was going to say, here. so I would say still go here. for it. Um, you have one more round just, to potentially just... take out Starscream, but you only have the thing the is, one only more round. I can do enough damage, right? So I have to roll. Only my roll matters here for the most part. No, parts. Cone Zone. If Cone Zone stuns, Starscream can't leave. You're right. You're right. So we have to go do it. Do you have alertness, Cone Zone? You ever? I've never seen a man less alert than me. All right, there. Of course, it's three. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, so no, nothing there. Let's, let's see if we can get the alertness. Uh, so this. You is have to roll a wait. twenty. Is, yeah. We have to go to the specialty dice. We need to do a snag because I'm not even you, trained you, in it. That's yeah, an eight. Not no, in the cards, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so I think what's going to happen is we had a is... one in four hundred chance of doing that. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So, Starscream is going to grab one last energy on cube and fly off in the distance with one of his wings slightly bent to the side. And uh, at this point, the uh, emergency uh, emergency release valves for the val for the dam have all been activated. The water is receding, or at least it's no longer going to be in danger of breaking the dam. And uh, at this point, you all get a call from Optimus himself, and he says, Oh, shit. Autobots, I've been monitoring the situation firsthand here at base, and might I say, I think I need to give you all some sort of award. 
I honestly didn't expect you would last two rounds against Starscream, but my lord, have you done something spectacular today. You've not only saved humanity's uh, <laughs> construction, but uh, you've also managed to scare away Starscream, one of the Decepticon's largest assets. So, congratulations. Get back to base, pick up Danger Zone along the way, and uh, I'll make sure you've got some Energon Pops waiting for you back at base. Hey, boss, my leaf on the wind. <laughs> <sighs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of tonight's game. I, oh, I just you guys to came. Say that. You guys came was, so close, so God. close. And I tell legit, me how much B had. Tell me how much so B had. Legit, what I needed was I needed a double. Well, here's yeah. the thing. He had an evasion of twenty-two, and he basically has an ability that every time. Um, yes. He goes to hit your evasion, and he can force you to hit his evasion. Um, yes. He reduces by one to a minimum of one, so he was doing that for every attack. Um, okay. He was at four HP, wow. legit four HP. Uh, uh, they were, it would have oh been possible. God. I needed one more hit. I needed just one double. Honestly, yeah, I don't think a double really, is possible. It would be four Z. It would have been possible. It would have been possible. No, no, it's but, not possible. Well, it would have been my is thirty eight. Overall, it would have been not... possible if Cone Zone had gotten off that extra stun and given you another round before he you're activated right, Mock right. Surrender. Because Mock Surrender is how he lived. It was that alertness. Yeah, I, there's no way I could do that, no. Yeah. But well, no, it's not like, like we knew any information about him is the thing, right? So Right. And, and here's, here's, the thing, here's the thing. Like, for level one characters, the adventure legit tells you, do not let them fight Starscream. And I'm like, forget that noise. They're fighting Starscream. Um, I, I do uh, want to say that the actual end is it's at nighttime, it is raining, and a Decepticon walks up to this house, knocks on the door, and a do door opens, and it is Mrs. Heat's secret drone oh being given god. bad news. Oh my god. Hello? It's over. <laughs> it wasn't it's in the drone memory, it was real all I'm along. sorry. <laughs> in service of Megatron, your friend has died. Your <laughs> husband has died. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, well, well, bad news about your <laughs> husband and your lover <laughs> <laughs> and your boyfriends. So on that note, this is where I'm going to end the recording. So Twitch stick around because we're going to raid somebody. But YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. Glad you had fun or at least hopefully you had fun like we did. We'll see you later, YouTube.